Okay, so last time that I played, um, Jerry was, well, here we go. Let me try to remember the events. Let me see. Maybe I can do it from, <laughs> yeah, here we go. I'll just go through the saves I have. So, I made it to full 112 and uh, discovered the experiment that Dr. Braun was conducting and then uh, continued to experiment on uh, the people that were in the Tranquility Loungers. Or, I mean, I don't know if that's actually what they're called because it's just, you know, Tranquility Lane was one of the three different simulations run by Dr. Braun uh, as, um, and uh, for Tranquility Lane, they were this character, um, uh, trying to remember, Betty, yeah, Betty, so then, basically, went through that, that, uh, that simulation a little bit, and, um, and found the failsafe in, uh, one of the abandoned houses, or, well, one of the houses that was abandoned, rather. Um, basically, um, there was a, another simulation set up that if, if run, the, uh, other residents would be able to be, um, hurt slash killed and it was a Chinese invasion simulation and basically Chinese soldiers were uh, thrown into the simulation and they just shot everybody except for the dog and uh, and Betty and me I guess so then um the dog turned out to be a uh, dad so then once once I got out of the simulation uh, I was reunited and um, after that we were I had to clear out the Jefferson Memorial again to get to Project Purity they tried to um, do more work on Project Purity, and then the Enclave uh, basically um, tried to take over the building and tried to take over Project Purity, which then uh, you know, Dad, Dad decided to. Uh, to blow it up and release radiation into the air. I don't know where the radiation came from and the room didn't get flooded or anything even though I believe there's water in there so the radiation ended up killing him and uh, killing the enclave that were in the room and the colonel that came to try to, uh, take over the project. So. Oh, and then we escaped from the Citadel, aka, um, who was it? Dr. Lee? Was it? I don't remember. Basically, went to the Brotherhood Citadel after that with, um, one other person, and I think it was Dr. Lee? I don't know. But, anyway, time to continue. Who are these friends? Hail. You honor us with your presence here. Welcome. Okay. Oh. Finding your way about all right? And I found... Well, and I... Talked to... 
Elder Lions a little bit last time, but I don't really recall what was said. You have my condolences. Your father was a good man. I thought so. I found a Brotherhood hollow tag. What should I do with it? Talk to Scribe Jameson. She is our keeper of the scrolls. She will want to know what you have found. Where can I find Scribe Jam Jameson? She spends most of her time in the archives. You'll find them in A Ring, near the Great Hall. <laughs> what do you know about the Enclave? More than anyone else, I dare say. Certainly enough to know they're the greatest threat the Capital Wasteland has ever faced. The Brotherhood of Steel has encountered the Enclave before, you see. Over 30 years ago, back in California. Then they were led by a President Richardson. Now we've got this Eden to contend with. It matters not now, as before they seek to control and destroy. All in the guise of restoring order. Your father, I fear, was just the beginning. I'd like to know more about the Brotherhood of Steel. The Brotherhood is an old organization going back to the years just after the war. We are but a part of it. What would you like to know? If you're just part of the Brotherhood, where's the rest of it? The Brotherhood began on the West Coast. It exists there still. We were dispatched to this location many years ago. In truth, the Brotherhood of Steel has been struggling for years, both here and back home. Honor, truth, courage. These virtues seem to have little meaning in these troubled times, I'm afraid. Why are you here in the Capital Wasteland? Ah, no. That's the real question, isn't it? Our orders were, and are, to acquire any and all advanced technology. And we have, to the best of our abilities. But when I realized the extent of the super mutant threat, I felt it was my responsibility to aid the people in their struggle against them. Unfortunately, my superiors back west disagree with my assessment of the situation. I feel I've grown too attached to the local populace. And they're right. In any event, the Enclave's arrival changes everything. How long have you been here? It's been over 20 years since we arrived, and we've been struggling to contain and eradicate the super mutants for nearly as long. With the arrival of the Enclave, I have a terrible feeling the super mutants are the least of our worries. That's all I wanted to know. So be it. I have to go now. Yeah, Stay let me go. Let me go turn off the radio because, you know, copyright. And now let me continue talking. Hail to you, son of James. Can someone in the Citadel train me to wear power armor? Why, yes. Yes, indeed, there is someone. Our intrepid Paladin Gunny trains all initiates in the use of power armor. When they're ready. Under the circumstances, I will allow Gunny to train you as well. You'll find him in the Bailey. I will send word that I've given my approval. Anything you can tell me about the super mutants? Would you believe no? It's pathetic, really, considering we've been fighting those abominations for nearly 20 years. In all that time, all we've managed to do is to contain the threat, hold them back so they don't overrun every blasted settlement out here. But we don't really know anything. Where they're from, why they've infested the DC ruins. And now here we are, holed up in our citadel. Low on resources, low on troops. It's enough to make an old man so very tired.
I have to go now. Steel be with you. Okay, well. Try to find my way around here. See if I can find Gunny to get trained for power armor. Oop. What? Huh? I'm sorry. I'm just an initiate. Target practice. Oh, look, initiate, you've got a lot of nerve to interrupt. Oh, my apologies, stranger. I thought you were one of these worthless initiates. I swear these kids would be lost without me here to powder their asses. What do you do here? I am charged with the duty of turning these maggots into brothers of steel. With the threat of the Enclave, they're likely going to be pressed into service before they've taken the oath. So I've got a lot of work to do. So any thoughts on the Enclave? Killing unarmed civilians makes me sick. Come over here. Try fighting someone who shoots back, fucking cowards. <laughs> Care to share anything about the super mutants? Why do you think I ride these initiates so hard? I make training hell, so fighting those uglies won't be. Can you train me to use power armor? Heard you were coming. Yeah, I can train you, but don't ask me to like it. My initiates sweat blood, and you just get a free pass? Anyway, you ready for this? Now look. To wear power armor, first thing you need to do is relax your muscles. Let the suit do the work, okay? Now you. You have received the specialized training needed to move in any form of power armor. Okay. What aid can I offer you, outsider? I have to go now. Damn initiates. Now I can go get, like, the Tesla... Power armor. I forget where it was though. Oh, at Project Purity. Yeah. I can get the Tesla power armor and I can wear that as like, uh, well, a suit of power armor. But go to this door. Maybe there's someone to trade with here too. Because I have, um, full carry weight. Lab. Yes, yes. What is it? Go about the fix and all that. Precisely what I'd like to speak with you about. What's the side of your heart? I want to do something. Okay. We've been over this. Star Paladin Cross. Hail to you. By the traction of hospitality and on the word of Elder Lions, I welcome you to the Citadel. I am Star Paladin Cross, Keeper of the Arm, and Seneschal to Elder Lions. And I am honored to say I was acquainted with your father. Now what may I do to help you? You knew my father? I did, and you as well. Long ago, I helped guard the water purifier against the super mutant horde. When your father left, I escorted the two of you to Megaton. He was... a nobleman. I was saddened to hear of his passing. But from what I've heard, he died with honor. He died for you. I only pray that my own death has such meaning. I loved him so much, I'll never forget him. And so our deeds are carried on through our sons and our daughters. Continue to remember him fondly. Continue to tell his story. And continue to do his work. Through you, he shall carry on. But now I must ask you a difficult question, if I have your leave to do so. 
By all means, ask. I escorted your father across the wastes. It was the best I could contribute to his efforts to restore fresh water to the people. I would like the honor of escorting you in your journey to complete his work. I would be honored, Star, pa Star Paladin Cross. Then I shall follow your leave and submit to your command. As James's child, I know I don't need to explain, but I am not your servant. If I do not like the path your actions take, I will return here. Now, let us go forward. Crush the Enclave and fulfill your father's mission. Wait. Don't Companion? Vigilance is necessary in this location. Be on your guard, my friend. Oh. Yep. Let's trade equipment. In the words of Elder Theus, a brother well equipped is a brother keeping to his duty. Oh, okay. Well, then I guess I can just kind of give the things that, uh, I'm no longer going to carry. Um, this hmm. I have 20 scrap metal. 20 carry weight. Or you know, I'll wait. Let's go. Lead the way. Worry, I'm on it. Rothschild, old friend, you're a brilliant technician. But this old man's patience is wearing thin. I want a full status report in three hours. All right, all right. I'll see what I can do. Elder Lions. Ooh, Liberty Prime Operations. Armory. Oh, hey. Welcome. Scrab Rothschild. May I start by saying that I am sorry for your loss. I was acquainted with your father many years ago. The world has lost one of its few remaining visionaries. Thanks for your sympathy. Think nothing of it. Now, Dr. Lee has explained your predicament. You need to locate some vault tech equipment? My father was looking for something called a Gek. Do you know, or do you have one? A Gek? <laughs> Goodness no, certainly not. I must say that there are some who doubt such a device really exists, let alone works. If, however, you share your father's determination, I may be able to assist you in locating one. So you know how to find one? Possibly. I'm afraid I won't be able to assist you directly. The news Dr. Lee has brought will require me to be elsewhere. I can, however, give you access to an old pre-war computer from vault Tech. It may have the information you need. You'll find the terminal in the archives in the A-Ring. Thanks for the help. You are welcome. If you require further assistance, I may be able to help. Alright. Hail. Scribe Peabody. The elders sent word of your arrival. I am Scribe Peabody. Welcome, etc. Now, I'm really very busy. Is there something you needed? I have some questions about the Brotherhood. You want to talk to Scribe Jameson. She's the archivist, not me. Can you tell me something about the Scribes? Indeed I can. Pay no heed to those headstrong knights with their pop guns and bravado. It is the scribes, the scribes who make the Brotherhood what it truly is. The brawn is useless without the brain, hmm? <laughs> Each order of scribes is dedicated to a unique field, all equally important, all more important than those dim-witted grunts. And the orders are? 
Order of the Sword, Order of the Shield, Order of the Quill, Weapons, Defenses, and Research, respectively. Let me guess, you belong... You belong the Order of... Sword, of course. Weapons, my boy. You name it, I've helped someone kill it. I'm the proctor of the Order of the Sword, you see. Weapons research, development and maintenance, all my responsibility. That's all I needed. Certainly. So any thoughts on the Enclave? So they have plasma weapons. Bah. It's strong technology, I'll give you that, but limited in modability. I've already started removing the compensators on our laser weapons to cut through the Black Devil power armor of theirs. We'll drop them like any other meat, don't you worry. Care to share anything about the super mutants? Foul, detestable beasts. They're like an infestation. We cut them down and they return again and again. Always so determined to kill or capture. But why? Do you think you could repair my equipment? With my eyes closed. And I will, too. But it will cost you, outsider. Ooh, okay. Forgot I had the iBot helmet. 18 caps. I'll do it. This has the same damage resistance, so... I might actually just keep wearing the iBot helmet. Hmm, but I don't know, actually. Because I might want to store that at home. Either that or it can store the combat helmet. Railway rifle. Plus six condition. Plus one damage. Two caps. I'll do it. Ten caps. I'd do it. Minigun. Ooh. Twenty-two caps. For one one percent condition, though. Uh, you know what? I'll just repair all. I have to go now. Until next time. Is there someone to trade with? Ooh, Knight Captain Durga. Quartermaster Durga here, stranger. I have to say, I'm not sure what you're doing in my armory. We run a tight ship, and unless Elder Lion says so, we don't trade with outsiders. Quartermaster out. Oh. Wait, this doesn't say... <laughs> that doesn't say, like, locked, and it's, you know, it's not in red. So, like, I could just... Go in there, question mark? Gonna try. Oop. One down. Nope, oh, two down. Three down. Four down. Come on now. There it is. Hi. Look, I told you. The Brotherhood doesn't trade with outsiders. If you want permission, you'll need to speak with Elder Lions. You again? Was I not clear the first time? I'm under order not to trade with outsiders for supplies. These orders come directly from Elder Lions. You again? Was I not clear the first time? I'm under order not to trade with outsiders for supplies. These orders come directly from Elder Lions. If you've got a problem with that, talk to him. Quartermaster out. 
you again? Mm. This is this doesn't say stealing. So can I do it? Okay. <laughs> All right. Oh, I can lockpick this too. I guess. Twenty-five bottle caps, pre-war money. Uh, okay, <laughs> just gonna take it. Oh wait, I got my laser pistol repaired. Oh, but I do have higher repair skills, so there. Requires a key. Watch it, will you? No. Yeah, you don't have the key, so. I'll go talk to Elder Lions then, because I'll just pick all that stuff up and, like, <laughs> sell it directly back. Outsiders in the Citadel. Ah, it's good to see you again. I'd like permission to trade. This is not normally something that we do. Trade with outsiders has proven to be problematic in the past. However, considering the circumstances, so be it. I'll send word to Durga that you have full access to trade. Sick. So what's the deal with the robot? Ah, yes. Everyone asks about the robot. Hard not to, I admit. His name is Liberty Prime. Very patriotic. Built by a very proud nation during a very desperate time. We've had about as much success getting him working as they did. You should speak with Scribe Rothschild. He can tell you more. I have to go now. Hail. Such a pleasure. Welcome. This is the stuff now. Welcome. Okay, no. This is not like Okay, I can just take it. <laughs> I'm just going to do it. Scribe Peabody, how does the day find? <laughs> Good mo morning, Elder. I'm sorry to report that things are not as they should be. Ever since Kasdan was outcast, that name is not to be spoken within the Citadel. Do you understand? I wish it were not so, truly I do. But he okay. Is outcast. Time to trade. Been oh wait, I didn't see the rocket launcher up top. The protocols, sir. But the equipment that they stole was very valuable. Our weapons are beginning to deteriorate without the spare parts. Then make do with what you have. We may lack the Enclave's resources, but I'm counting on your ingenuity to make up for that. Yes, Elder. I understand. I'm sure we've got the parts around here somewhere. I received word from Elder Lyons. He says that you have permission to trade with us. Good for you. Can I see what you have to trade? Sure. Just be quick about it. Oh boy. I have all this. Ooh. Wait, what? Okay. laser rifle uh, I don't know if I should keep it or not because eh, it's a regular laser rifle so it'll use one per shot I guess missile launcher
And that's... That's it. But what do you have? Oh, stim packs. I'll just buy all of these. Now I'll give you everything else if I can. Nope. Okay, just buy ammo. Yep, as much ammo as I can get. Ooh, okay. I don't know if I can do it. Oop, medex, give four. Your fight water, radex, give three of these right away. Give five of. I'm actually down enough to not be, uh, well, not having enough money, rather, I guess. Oh, there we go. Cartons of cigarettes. Okay, now I'm owed 41 caps, so I can still buy more 1, 7 caps. Jet, now 8 caps on my side. I'll just buy like... Four. Zero caps. There. Now what else is here? Are there any weapons I don't currently own? Don't think so. Yeah. Peril. Okay. Give me a shout if you need anything else. Ooh. Can you repair my gear? If you want to pay for the parts, yes. Oh, that's right. I have to go now. Steel be with you. So now... Can repair this slightly more. Ooh. That looks like it's... Maybe like 80 or so condition, so. Hey, no. Why don't you look where you're going? Citadel Lab Terminal. AVF problem. Recent experiments with accelerated vector fusion AVF have not gone according to plan. All scribes assigned to the lab should check with Scribe Rothschild on a daily basis and obtain any modified technical parameters as needed. Okay. Warning. Leaky hydraulics. It has come to our attention that several scribes have slipped on hydraulic fluid near the eastern end of the robot lift. Until the offending pipes can be mended completely, please use caution in that area. Enclave Tactical Assessment. Weapons, plasma-based, capable of molecular stabilization. Armor, advanced power armor, Mark II. Uh, transportation, vertebrates. Tactical assessment. The Enclave forces that have occupied Project Purity are nearly identical to those encountered on the West Coast in the year 2241. Threat potential, severe. GNR. 
Battle after action report. It is the opinion of Sentinel Lions that the recent super mutant attack on GNR was not indicative of a larger assault as was originally thought. Instead, the forces that attacked the radio station were probably en route to the mall to reinforce their own kind in a prolonged battle against the mercenaries of Talon Company. General Robot Diagnostics Updated Scrab Rothschild has completed a new full diagnostic of the robot. Here are those results. Mobility, 0%. Navigation, translation, 0%. Internal processors, 87%. Weapon systems, 60%. Power management, 3%. Voice module, 100%. It is the assessment of Scrab Rothschild that once the power management issues are solved, mobility and navigation translation will jump to at least 50%, well within acceptable operating capacity. Notice, Redden Funeral Cancelled. Due to the certain unexpected tactical developments, funeral services for the initiate Red and have been cancelled. A memorial service will be scheduled sometime in the future. Date to be... To be... Discussed? I don't know. To be determined, I think. Determined. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> Toolbox. More scrap metal. And a plunger. I think I'll just leave that there. Need something, friend? No. <laughs> beep boop, beep boop. <laughs> Driving. Oh, yeah. Where you going? Where you driving to? N99 10mm pistol. The 10mm... Oh, sound of the computer you're reading from. Oh! Okay, Manhattan. Uh... How long of a drive is that? The 10mm N99 sidearm was standard issue military gear following the phase out of the N80 in 2051. The N99 was known for its ability to survive in the harshest of conditions in in many tests, the weapon was able to reliably be restored to working condition after an extended period of time exposed to hard elements and without maintenance. Meh. Two hours. Ah. Uh. The N99 proved to stand up to its claims as a result is one of the most common weapons found in use in the wasteland. While many civilian weapons were ruined beyond use in the exterior conditions following the war, the N99 is commonly able to be easily restored into working order by anyone with the most basic knowledge of firearm mechanics. However, an N99 in poor condition can often cause Oh, can often deliver low target and armor penetration, frequent jamming, and greatly reduced accuracy. Fortunately, the weapon was produced in great numbers, and units are available for replacement parts. Okay. R91 5.56 Assault Rifle The R-series of combat assault rifles was used reliably following the discontinuation of the M-series in the early 21st century. The R-Series, produced by civilian manufacturer Stent Security Solutions, was made in many models and variations. 
the variation most common to the DC Wasteland is the R91 Full Auto Urban Assault Rifle. This rifle was standard issue for the National Guard during the urban pacification operations. Fortunately, for our purposes, the Nation Guard has the Nation Guard had been fully deployed around the DC area during the time of the war. As a result, the R91 is readily available for those willing to search. Although nearly two centuries of the scavenging has reduced the number of working units, the R91 remains a favorite of slavers and raiders. This rifle can also often be attained from legitimate traders and arms dealers. Like any firearm, the R91's effectiveness and accuracy can suffer without regular maintenance. Okay. Laser pistol. AEP-7 laser pistol. The AEP-7 laser pistol was put into service to replace the AP... AEP-S. Or no, AP... AEP-5. Okay. A model which was notorious for its problems with overheating. The AEP-7 features a new design in the photonic focusing chamber as well as an entirely redesigned focusing crystal pattern. The bulk of the weight have both been reduced over previous models and it was likely that within the new few development cycles the successor to the AEP-7 would replace the N99 10mm as the standard issue sidearm for all forces. The AEP-7 took advantage of new manufacturing technologies developed shortly before the Great War. Although Although many were produced, most did not make it into the field service because of logistics problems concerning their deployment during active wartime. The AEP-7 can be a rare find in the Capital Wasteland and many models that are produced should be returned to the Citadel for repair and recalibrating before field deployment. AER-9 Laser Rifle <laughs> Unlike many of the weapons in use today, the AER-9 is actually not the top tier laser rifle that was in service at the time of the Great War. The model line went up to the state of the art AER-12 which saw service in a handful of specialty units. The reason that the AER-9 is much more commonly found is that it was much sturdier and more reliable than the models that followed. The AER-9 features a titanium house crystal array which proved to withstand long years of exposure to the elements much better than the gold alloy housing of the later models. As a result, the crystal array stayed focused within operating parameters rather than falling completely out of focus like the newer models. As with all energy weapons, the AER-9 can suffer from poor performance if not properly maintained. The crystal arrays and non-mechanical components are delicate if not properly serviced can lead to a loss of beam intensity, overheating, and energy regulation failure. Ooh. Okay. Oh. Plasma rifle. Do I have ammo for this? Uh, yes, I do. Microfusion cells. So, uses the same as the laser rifle. Does it weigh the same? Uh, it does. But it does 25 damage. The only thing is, I think, uh, they have a travel time, so I'd have to wait for it to actually hit something. I think I'm going to sell... I might just sell the laser rifle, though, because it still does yeah. more damage, what so... Can I see what you have to trade? Yeah, I suppose. Here we go. Laser rifle. Except. Except. Give me a shout if you need anything else. Steel be with you. Okay. Oh. Forgot that I actually have a companion now, so I can actually have things carried that I don't want to carry myself. Welcome. Citadel Lab Terminal, another one? Is this the same as the other one? 
Oh, yes it is. Okay. Talk to... Welcome. You, scribe or child. I'm afraid I have other duties to attend to right now. If you find the computer to be helpful, there may be more I can offer. Are you in charge of the, um, robot? I am, and have been since we first found him well over 20 years ago. Liberty Prime is the designation we found on file for him. Magnificent, don't you think? At least he will be once all systems are operational. It's the energy consumption. Something that big with such advanced weapon systems. Uh, we just don't have the means to power it. Not yet. Who built Liberty Prime? Or better yet, why? He was developed as a super weapon back in the days before the war. The first joint operation between Robco and General Atomics International. Apparently, he was meant to help liberate Alaska from the Chinese, but was never completed. They were forced to go in without him. They won, but suffered heavy losses. If we can get him up and running well, I think you get the idea. Care to share anything about the super mutants? Not really. No. I'd like to know more about the Brotherhood of Steel. I'm afraid you're asking the wrong person. I'd like to hear what you have to say anyway. If you insist, what do you want to know? Why are you here in the Capital Wasteland? Well, that depends on who you ask. Lions will tell you it's because we're protecting the poor, innocent people of the Capital Wasteland. Most others here will tell you the same thing. They'll do anything for that man. Well, I'm asking you, why are you here? I'm here for two reasons. One, Lions needs me. He always has, just as much as I need him. We've been through a lot together, he and I. Two, take a look around you. Access to this kind of technology and the benefits it could provide to the Brotherhood is immeasurable. I have to go now. And so you go. Okay. Dr. Lee. Garza. What do you need? I have to leave. And I have work to do. Okay. Anyone over here I can talk to? Uh, nope. Combat knife and a tin can. I think I'm good on that. Eight bottle caps. I saw that you completed your tests. What results are you seeing? Another ten millimeter pistol, but I already repaired mine. Pure money. Empty sugar bombs. Dart in the trash can. Vigilance is advised. Oh. oh, more sugar bombs. I can go sell those. Ooh. 
Oh, I didn't want the green plate. I wanted the sugar bombs. Here, I'll put it back on the table. Squirrel on a stick. More sugar bombs. Hey, now. Troops have moved beyond the purifier into the surrounding wasteland region. No telling how far they might spread. Hmm. All right. Thanks for the information. You honor us with your presence here. Hail. Oh, come on. Pay more attention to what you're doing. <laughs> you honor us with your presence here. Turpentine. Oop, duck and cover. Read it right now. Explosives increased by two. Now I shall be on my way out of the citadel. Getting reinforcements from somewhere, but we still haven't determined the location of their headquarters. I see. Where to next? Oh, another part of the citadel. Okay, never mind. Oh, A ring. Empty. Need something, friend? Need something, friend? <laughs> Vault Tech Terminal. DC area of vault listings. Ooh, Vault 76. I feel like I've read these already. What is my what does my quest say? Data. Quests. Picking up the trail. Use the Vault Tech computer in the Citadel archives to locate a geck. Oh okay, find a vault that has one. There we go. DC vault listings. Um how about Vault 106? Equipment insurances or in its issuances. Vault number one oh six starting construction date March twenty sixty four ending construction date December twenty sixty nine. Total number of occupants ninety five subjects, twelve researchers, total duration one hundred and forty seven months. Computer control system, think machine, 2800. Primary power supply, rock solid brand geothermal. Secondary power supply, general atomics nuclear power. Personnel assignments. Vault 106 personnel assignments. Overseer, Dr. Albert Laris. Additional personnel. Uh, dot, dot, dot. Archivist's note. This information has been redacted at the request of Dr. Albert Laris of Psychological Research Department and Chief Overseer of Vault 106 Project. All inquiries into the goal and research methods of Vault 106 are to be directed through his office. Okay. Project goals. No, redacted as well. About 108. Equipment issuances. Vault number 108, starting construction date March 2061. Ending construction date December 2069 due to work stoppage. 
Total number of occupants, 475. Total duration, 38 years. Computer control system, none. Primary power supply, general atomics nuclear power. Nope, main supply designed to fail after 240 months. Secondary power supply, steam whistle mini geothermal. Note from admin, we are aware that the steam whistle is only sufficient to power this project partially. Please do not file any further reports on this issue. Non-standard equipment. Defensive weaponry. Triple normal issue. Note, do not stock with standard entertainment. Personnel assignments. Overseer Brody Jones. Chief of Staff Zachary K. Jam Jameson. Chief of Security Jarek Maddox. Morale Officer Nathan Ar Aragon? Oregon? Oregon? Researcher note All standard positions have been initially left unfiled and will be assigned to the Overseer according to the Vault 108 protocols. According to the pre assigned medical tests, Mr. Jones has a genetic disposition for a rare terminal strain of cancer which should ideally cause him to expire within 40 months of the project's inception. These two events should combine to allow a proper catalyst that allows this project to continue as planned. Project Goals Error. File corruption detected. Please reinstall operating system software. Vault 101 Equipment Issuances Files corrupted, please reinstall operating system software. No. Okay. Personnel assignments. Error. A network connection could not be found. Project goals. Access restricted. Okay. Vault 92. Vault number 92. Starting construction date May 2062. Ending construction date May 2068. Total number of occupants to occupants 245. Total duration 100 years. Computer control system Brain Power 7. Primary power supply General Atomics Nuclear Power. Secondary power supply None. Non-standard equipment Sound equipment itemized in memo number 3287. 32746-2A Musical instruments itemized in memo number 9267563-4C Recording equipment itemized in memo number 56197J Okay Personnel assignments Error file corruption detected Please reinstall operating system software Project goals. Access restricted. Vault 87. Equipment in issuances. Vault number 87. Starting construction date May 2066. Ending construction date December 2071. Total number of occupants redacted. Total duration redacted. Computer control system Cyberbrain V2.3. Primary power supply General Atomics Nuclear Power. Secondary power supply Versicorps Fusion Power. Non standard equipment Stasis Chamber 4. Plasma Containment Field 3. GEC 1. Food Processing Station 6. Unexpected end of file data corruption detected. Project goals. Access restricted. Oh, and the personnel assignments is also corrupt. Vault 
Vault 76 information. Starting construction date 2065, ending construction date 2069, total number of occupants 500, total duration 240 months. Computer control system, brain power 4. Primary power supply, light life geothermal. Secondary power supply, general atomics nuclear power. Non-standard equipment, none. Personnel assignments. Vault 76 goal summary. Vault 76 is one of our 17 control vaults. It will operate exactly according to the plan dictated in the marketing material produced by Vault Tech and precisely to resident expectations. This vault will open automatically after a period of 20 years and the residents will be pushed back into the open world for study in comparison to the other experiments. Personnel assignments. Oh wait. Okay. Project goals. Access restricted. Vault 112. Which is the vault I think that I started in the game. Equipment issuances. Vault number 112. Starting construction date November 2068. Ending construction date June 2074. Total number of occupants 85. Total duration indefinitely. Computer control system Think Machine 3600R. Primary power supply Sure Power Geothermal. Secondary power supply Extra Sure. Extra Sure Power Geothermal. Non-standard equipment 12147C robots caretaker variation. 85 stasis pods list of liquid nutrients detailed in memo number 943 2b or b2 rather dash b2 there we go personal assignments overseer dr Sten stanislas braun additional personnel researchers note due to the nature of the project of vault 112 and the highly automated system designed to support it, the vault requires only a single administrator. Okay. Project goals. Access restricted. Back. Vault tech personnel assignments. Nope. File corruption detected. Order requisition forms. Error file corruption detected. Okay. So, ask Scribe Rothschild for information about Vault 87. Hail, if you honor us with your presence here. What aid can I offer you, outsider? Paladin Vargas. I have to go now. Of course. More scrap metal. I'm telling you how far they might spread. I see. Hail. Shotgun shells.
and back through the doors. Into the laboratory. You honor us with your presence here. Did you have any success with that old terminal? Vault 87 has a geck, but I don't know where it is. Ah, well, that much I believe I can help with. Step over here for a moment. I'll show you where it is. Welcome. Welcome. I cannot, I will not allow the Enclave to control the one thing that could bring even the slightest spark of hope to these people. Project Purity would mean millions of gallons of pure, clean water for the people of the Port Shoulder Systems. Looks like the gyros are locked up James again. Never got the It'll damn take thing a few to hours run. to clean it out. Neither did we, for that matter. But the Enclave, if they controlled that much clean water, they would control the entire capital wasteland. I simply cannot allow that to happen. Hey. This map shows the locations of all known vaults in the local area. Vault 87 has been highlighted for you. There. Entrance to Vault 87 will be particularly difficult for you, I'm afraid. Why? What's difficult about it? The area is highly irradiated. Lethal levels are all around the entrance. Gaining direct access will be quite impossible. How do I get through the radiation? Quite simply, you don't. To attempt such a thing would be certain death for you. There's got to be another way. You share your father's determination, it seems. And in this case, you are correct. There may well be another way. Vault 87 is located very close to the site of Lamplight Caverns. It is entirely probable that the vault may be entered from within the caves. Don't you know? No, I'm afraid not. After initial attempts to cross the radiation failed, it was decided to focus our efforts elsewhere. You, however, are free to do as you choose. More exploration may be useful, and I'll certainly be interested in anything you might find. Thanks for your help. I wish we could do more, but the Brotherhood potentially faces a very pressing, very real threat in the Enclave. All of my efforts must now be devoted to assessing the threat they may pose to us. I'm sure you understand. Okay, I'll search the lamplight caverns for a way into Vault 87. Now off to Camp Lamplight. Need something, friend? What do you need, civilian? Steel be with you. Okay. Now what is the closest thing to this place that I have? Everglow National Campground.
Oh. Hey! Look out! Oh, and there goes the game. Crashed. Let's reopen it then. See if the autosave doesn't <laughs> crash. Okay, nope. And it exists still, so. Straight back to the same place again. Engage your targets. I've got your back. Yes. You're facing What's superior up? weapons and training. Uh, oh. uh, ah. uh. Ooh, I love when they fight back. Two bottle caps. Ooh. Screw this. <laughs> Screw this. Please, I'm sorry. I was just playing, I swear. Screw <laughs> this. What do you think you're doing? I'll tell you. See if I can get a sneak attack on them. It is all painless. I just bought more more rounds, so Ooh, yep, sneak attack. father. Super mutant brute. Oh, here they come. Enemy contact! <laughs> Where? Oh! Give me some help with this one! Victory! <laughs> Victory. Now what do they have on them? Four, five, five, six rounds. Frag grenades. And nail board. Good. Vicious dog. No, no. Friendly dog. This... Ooh. Okay. I'm gonna go in here first. You have discovered little lamplight. All right. Seven shotgun shells. Some five, five, six rounds. More shotgun shells. Paint gun. Mm. You're on. Point. Sugar bombs. And down through the caverns. Stop. Hold it right there. 
right there, mister. Don't take another step, or we'll blow your fucking head off. Whoa, hold on there. I'm a friend. You're big, and I don't have any big friends. You better just go out the way you came in. I really need to get to Vault 87. Do you know the way? You don't want to go there. That's where the monsters are. We got pretty good at keeping them out. Probably better than you could do. Monsters? What monsters? The big ones. You know, the ones that sort of look like people, except they're all wrong. So you know the way to get there? Yeah, I do. But it's through Little Lamplight, and you're not getting into Little Lamplight. Guess you better find some other way, Mungo. Can I come in? Hell no! No Mungos allowed! Mungos? Oh, come on. I'm a nice guy, really. May I please come in? Well, okay. But you better not be lying or else we'll shoot you. Don't visit <laughs> Lamplight. Caverns. No mungos. No mungos. Happy birthday, Sticky. Sorry I missed your party. Yeah, me too. Sorry. There's nothing happy about it. This is the worst day of my life. It's time to go. You know the rules. The rules are stupid. You're a mungo now. You gotta leave. Maybe I can stay just a little longer? Bye, Sticky. Yeah. Bye, Sticky. Don't just stand so, there. Get out of here already. Up today? Not if I can help it. Made any good trades today? <sighs> Nothing much. One of the widower kids had a rock Zip said looked dirty. But he barely even knows what is and isn't dirty in the first place, see? That's hysterical. Zip was running around, checking every rock he found all day. Great stuff. Talk with you later, sis. Alright, bye. Okay. Watch it. Wow! What luck! I'm Sticky. Forget these little kids. I'll take you to Big Town where the Mungos, I mean where the grown-ups live. I'm headed there now. Where the grown-ups live? Big Town. You've never heard of it? It's where all the grown-ups go. Well, at least when they grow up and out of Little Lamplight. I can show you the way. There's no reason to waste your time with a bunch of snot-nosed kids. Let's go now. Fine, I'll take you to Big Town, but first I need to visit Little Lamplight. I'm not allowed in Little Lamplight anymore. Only people under 18 get to live in Little Lamplight. So when you're done with those little kids, we can go to Big Town together. I'll wait outside for you. Okay. Hey, what's up? Spelunkers and Great Chamber. Okay, so you get in, but I got my eye on you. You don't make any trouble in here, got it? I ain't having no shit butts making trouble. I'm not planning on starting any trouble. Good. Better stay that way, Mungo. How do you keep this place organized? Organized? Have you walked around this place? Pure anarchy, and I wouldn't have it any other fucking way. We can't all stay here forever, so we've all got to leave eventually. And there's not much to look forward to out there. So we have a good time while we're here. And the occasional ruthless little bastard like me, make sure it doesn't fall apart for the other kids. How did you get to be in charge of this place? It's not that complex. Any kid can say they want to be mayor here. It's just that most don't want to bother with the responsibility of leading. Most of the time, they last until the kids get tired of them. Then they get kicked out on their ass by the new mayor. One only lasted five minutes. Of course, I've kept this place going strong for three years. To most kids, that makes me mayor for fucking life. Fine by me, I say. You said everyone has to leave eventually? People change when they grow up, and we don't trust mungos living down here. So we leave for a place called Big Town before we get too old. At least that's the line Joseph teaches. 
But really, we simply don't have enough space or food for everyone to stay here forever. So, I've got to exile some to avoid ruining the whole town. It's a fucking hard, brutal choice to make, but that's the way we stay alive. That's all I need to know for now. About time. Who are you? I'm McCready. I run Little Lamplight because they made me the mayor, and I don't like strangers or mungos. Can you give me directions? What do I look like, your tour guide? See you around, McCready. Yeah, that's nice. Scram. Essentials. Sensor module. Excuse me. Whoa. I've never seen a Mungo so close. Are you a raider? Or a slaver? Or a mutant? Because if you are, I'm supposed to go hot. Because I'm too young to use a gun yet. I'm not any of those. I'm a vault dweller. At least I was when I was your age. Did you live in the old vault below? I thought nobody lives down there now because it was full of monsters. Mayor doesn't let us go down there because when they went, they didn't come back. You don't look like someone who didn't come back, so maybe you didn't come from there. I really need to get to Vault 87. Do you know the way? We don't go there. It's bad back there. Ask Mayor if you really want to know. Why do they call you Bumble? It's just a name, okay? Not my fault I knocked stuff over. Lucy says I still got a lot of growing to do. Can you give me directions? I don't know. I still get lost sometimes. Things are really big. Bye bye, Bumble. Bye bye, Vault Dweller. There you go. Oops. Journal of Carrie and Delany, entry two and entry one. My name is Carrie Delaney. I Delaney. teach fourth grade at the Early Dawn Elementary School in Washington, D.C. Yesterday, October 23rd, 2077, half the school went on a field trip to Lamplight Caverns. We were packing up to leave when... when everything went crazy. The cave started shaking. The lights went out. The kids started screaming. My God! Mr. Pollock went outside to see what was going on. When he came back in, he told us what he saw. Clouds. Mushroom clouds. It's finally happened. The end of the world. You're on point. I shall back you up. <laughs> okay. Entry two. We're all okay. If you can call being stuck in a cave with 82 terrified kids, okay. Alive, anyway. But I don't know what the hell we're going to do. It's been four days. Claudia went out this morning to look around and never came back. Then Mr. Cobb went out to look for her and he never came back. So now there's only me, two other teachers, two of the parents who were chaperoning, and a few of the cavern staff. And all these poor kids. We've got enough food and water to last for a while, I guess. But after that, I just don't know. We can't stay in here forever. Can Be we? vigilant. Okay. I'm going to save before I take any ammunition, because I don't know about my companion, if this will be okay. Oh, accidentally just took iron. Oh. 
24 energy cells. 27 energy cells. 7 darts. Okay. Ooh. Coca-Cola. Out of here. Ooh. Better get this stuff off the desk. Scalpel, okay. I thought it was a syringe. More scrap metal. Ooh. Hey! Who are you? What are you doing in here? Mayor McCready let me in. I don't want to cause any problems. If you convinced RJ that you're safe, I guess I'll go along. But if you do start trouble, you'll regret it. I'm Lucy, the doctor here. That means I handle the funerals too. So much as look at a kid the wrong way, and I'll be seeing you again. How do you keep healthy in here? There's always one big sister or another who knows her way around a compress and a sewing needle. So we take care of most of the little scrapes. And way back when, someone figured out that some of the plants and fungus around here absorb radiation. The little ones don't like to eat their veggies, but they don't like to be sick either. So we get by. So you're the only doctor in this whole place? Well, we all know the basics. Combat first aid, you know? But I've got the most experience at the tough stuff. Bumble's been learning the most about the more complex parts of cutting and sewing. People tease her. But she's got a steady hand. Of course, now she just needs to learn what you do and don't cut. <laughs> that sounds like it's pretty useful, Funkus. It is, especially for dealing with the low-level radiation we all get from the water. The fungus just soaks it right up. But it doesn't help the rickets that keep hitting the younger lamp lighters. Believe it or not, I can make a treatment for that from extract of buff out. Actually, if you can talk McCready into it, I'd be glad to trade some fungus for buff out, but he'd have to say it was okay. That's all I need to know for now. Well, until you come asking for a bandage at least. Can you give me directions? Well, where to? I'm looking for Vault 87. Can you help me find it? You can only get there through Murder Pass, and we keep guards there to keep the little kids out. But if you want to have a look, it's north of the souvenir shop. Okay, that's enough. Okay. I'll let you get back to work. Thanks. Hopefully, it'll just be skin, knees, and bloody noses today. Okay. Watch it. Whoa. A mungo down here? Just walking around? Hey, are we letting mungos in now? Didn't hear a scuffle, so I'm guessing you're some sort of guest? So, what's so cool about you, fancy pants? Must be a pretty good reason for you to get let in, see? The mayor let me in. I'm not here to cause any trouble. Always good to hear, but not even any fun trouble? Even a little? See, I collect a lot of stories and sometimes trade them to keep the others amused. A bit of fun trouble is always good for morale. More owls better than less owls, see? You said you're in charge of morale. What does that mean? Well, technically, I'm patrolling and keeping the peace. Mostly, that involves making sure people are happy and not getting into trouble. You can't very well keep the peace if you've already lost it, see? So, bam! Jokes! Wanna hear one? Sure, let's hear one. Prepare to be amused. Knock knock. Who's there? Noah. Oh no. 
know a place where you can get some better jokes. Hey, that's good. I was just gonna say, know a place where I can get some food. Speech 100. That was, um, really funny. Gee, thanks. I have to admit, most of them aren't really funny. At least not ha-ha funny. They're more like a tradition. Most of them were passed down from this book we found down back, called Vault Boy's Big Book of Laughs for Kids. They're not really funny, but something about hearing them is a little comforting, you know? Why don't you come up with new jokes or stories to tell? Oh, we've got lots of funny incidents. Like when Sammy shot the raider who thought he was a girl. That sort of stuff. But we don't really get a lot of news stories from outside. The scav teams spend all their time hidden, so they don't get much news, see? I'd sure like to hear more tales from the great big outdoors myself. Actually, if you hear any, feel free to tell me. I've got a tale I could tell you. Oh, really? Tell me about it. Not long ago, my father left me, so I went searching for him. So you're like a three-legged dog, then? Looking for your lost paw? <laughs> anyway, what happened next? I finally found my dad, but then he died protecting me in his life's work. Wow, that's some crazy bad timing. I mean, that is to say... I'm really sorry to hear about your loss. So, what happens next? I tell you more, but I'm still working on how it ends. That makes sense, I suppose. A good story can take a while to put together, you know. Why are you called Knock Knock? Well, when people started calling Nicky by his new name, I needed one too, see? If you're twins, it just doesn't cut it to be called Nick Knack and Sue. I have to go now. All right, bye. Watch it. And on to the vault. If this is the right way to go. Souvenirs. Great chamber and spelunkers. thinking, letting a damn mongo like you in here. So who are you working with? Raiders? Slavers? Mutants? Answer up, mongo! The mayor let me in. I'm not here to cause problems. Well, if you're sticking around, you ought to know that I'm princess, and I call the shots around here. And don't forget it, mongo! What's it like guarding the back gate? It's so dull. Practically nothing ever tries to come through the back gate anymore so I never get to shoot anyone. I wish I was at the front gate, but RJ specifically put me back here. Up front, at least there's a chance I can shoot some unwanted visitors. Which could have included you, Mungo. Why would you have shot me? <laughs> could have been a lot of reasons. Maybe you sounded like a monster in all that darkness. Maybe you had a weapon drawn and looked like a raider. Maybe I just decided I didn't like your stupid Mungo face. How did someone like you get a nickname like Princess? I don't need to explain myself to you, Mungo. Shut up and get lost. In fact, don't you ever bother me about something as stupid as nicknames again. I'm leaving. Get back to guarding. Well, thank goodness you gave me permission, jerk.
So wait, how how do I get through here? Well, look who's here. What's up, Mungo? Can you give me directions? No, scram. Okay. I'm leaving it back to guarding. Thank goodness you How How get through? Oh. You cannot use this now, but why not? How how do I get down the tunnel then? Oh, I guess this other way? Or is there another way? Murder Pass is up there. Or so the sign shows. Souvenir shop. Watch it. Knickknack. Whoa, are we letting Mungos in now? Didn't hear any shots, so I'm guessing you're not here to raid us. And if you're not here to raid us, you might just have brought something cool for us, see? So who are you? And how'd you get let in? The mayor let me in. I'm not here to cause any trouble. In that case, I'm Nick Knack, and I take care of the general store around here. Which is to say, I collect a lot of stuff, and sometimes trade it for other stuff. That's pretty much a store, see? Why are you called Nick Knack? Well, my name was Nick, and I collect Nick Knacks. Not everything has to be real complex, see? Can you give me directions? Where to, man? Oh, I'm looking for Vol 87. Can you help me find it? You can only get there through Murder Pass, and we keep guards there to keep the little kids out. But if you want to have a look, it's north of the souvenir shop. Yeah, that's enough. Okay. That's all for me. Come on back when you got more stuff to trade. So then how... How do I get through the gate then? Great chamber. So this way? Like it's saying this way? I have to wait till a certain time that I can get through there. say enter vault 87 I want to go through here well look who's here what's up mungo really need to get to Vault 87, do you know the way? We don't go there. It's bad back there. Ask Mayor if you really want to know. Okay. I'm leaving. Well, thank goodness- Um... Okay. Can I ask the Mayor to open the- the gate down the tunnel? What's up?
fucking great chamber. Watch it. I'll try to navigate this. Oh, I'm allowed to take this ammo. Billy. Hello, I'm Billy. Welcome to Little Wamp White. Hey, you look like you're handy with the weapon. I got kicked off the scab team. So I guess I don't need mine anymore. Wanna buy my Wazer rifle? Five hundred caps, and it's all yours. How about two fifty caps instead? Is it a deal? That's not a lot, but okay. Bye now. Wazer rifle added. Damage 18, weight 8. What did I. I got the plasma rifle that does more and uses the same ammo, but I guess I'll see. Helping the people of the wasteland is of the utmost to the Lion's Doctrine. Is there anybody else in the Grand Chambers? Intact Garden Gnome. Ways 5. Uh, there's a workbench here. Oh, and a bottle cap mine. The only thing I haven't made yet is a shish kebab. Motorcycle gas tank, pilot light, lawnmower blade, motorcycle handbrake. Okay. I think I'll go looking for the parts after I no longer have stuff in my inventory. At least, you know, stuff to the point where I can actually pick up all those things. You are a credit to your father. Oh. Dead end. Any more tunnels down here at all, or... Maybe not. Watch it! Zip. The mayor said it's okay for you to be in here, right? Because Mungos aren't allowed in here unless the mayor says so. So are you an okay Mungo? Because if you aren't an okay Mungo, then that means we should stop you. And that means I've got to get my gun from lockdown. So stay here, okay? No, no, I'm not here to cause any problems. You don't need your gun. Oh, that's good, because Mayor McCready says I can't have my gun in town anywhere, not since last time. But that was totally an accident anyway. That reminds me, got a nuka cola? Because if I'm not going to have a gun in town, then it must be okay for me to have one more nuka, right? Anyway, everyone calls me Zip, you know. Like a zipper. Only not really like that, because I'm not made of metal. But I do go up and down, I guess. Why are you called Zip? Why Zip? Or why do I have a nickname at all? I mean, why don't people just call me Ricky, or Yancey? Or Eustace P. Vanderbagger the third. I mean, they say it's because I'm so fast. But that doesn't make sense because I don't think I'm all that fast. It's just that they're all slow. I guess it's just one of those mysteries that will never really get answered. Sort of like how people made bubbles in Nuka-Cola. Say, got any cola? 
You said you were looking for Nuka Cola? Yeah, more Nuka's always good. It's definitely always good than less. Because no Nuka's no good at all. Got any Nuka for me? I'll trade you whatever I got for more Nuka Cola. Anytime. Nuka for zip. Nuka for zip. What have you got to trade for an ice cold bottle of Nuka Cola? Last time I was out looking, I found some of this moot fruit. It's not as sweet as Nuka, but maybe you mongos like that sort of thing. Sounds like a good trade to me here. Thanks. Nuka for me. I don't want to say that. I'm going away. You stay here. Away from me. Okay. See you next time, mister. Excuse me. Ooh. Down this tunnel I go. Ooh. Where's this door? Okay, this just goes back to the lamp light hey. caverns. Hey! Eclair. Okay, RJ had better have a good reason to let you in. Because right now, all I'm seeing is a Mungo who's here to take our food and screw us over. The mayor let me in, I'm not planning on causing any trouble. Oh great. Maybe next he'll take in a Deathclaw or something. He can make it the town mascot. Anyway, my name's Eclair, and yes, I take care of the food here. Don't expect any scraps from our table. Where do you get the food for this place? Honestly, when we can't scavenge some from outside, we mostly scrape it off the walls and skim it off the water. No, really. Most of our food comes from fungus that grows in these caves. It's not so bad when you get used to it. And we don't have much choice. At least it's filling. So we don't have to eat much of it. But man, oh man, it tastes terrible! Where does the fungus come from? It's pretty hard to find. And I hear it doesn't grow in other caves. I don't know why it's here, but without it, we'd be goners. Think fungus just grows on trees? No, it grows in caves! Ugh! Knock Knock came up with that one once, and now it's stuck in my head forever! Doesn't take any work to get it to grow down here. All I have to do is collect and prepare it. Mostly, I try to get the stink off it. How does the fungus grow? They say the fungus grows in the pools where the first lamplighters dump the mungos. That's about the most they ever helped us. I don't know how true that is, but I know sometimes the scab team comes back with the strange meat. It tastes terrible, but the fungus loves it. I don't know where they find that meat, but if you could bring some back, I'd be glad to trade fungus for it. Of course, McCready'd have to okay it. That's all I need to know for now. Sure. Why are you called Eclair? Well, I didn't get the nickname for being fat and full of cream, if that's what you're asking. Back when I was on the scav team, I found some pages from an old cookbook. Sometimes I try them out. Just for the record, don't try making an eclair out of cave fungus. The taste sticks with you, and not in a good way. I'd like some food. Sure thing, Mungo. We don't have much to spare, so get ready to pay. Okay. Well, let me see. You can have the crunchy mut fruit. I guess that's how they said it, so... It has radiation. Ooh. Free more money. Sells for nine here. Do I have any in here to sell? Frag grenades. Except. Let me know if you need anything else. I'll let you get back to the food. About time, man. 
The mold isn't getting any tastier. Oh, requires key. Uh, oh, uh, okay. Oh, you do have the key, actually. Don't touch me. Wait, I'm hidden right here? Oh, nope, now I'm hidden. Woo. 156 bottle caps? Wait, this just has the things that I traded. Plus whatever else was in there, I guess. I can just take this. It's not stealing, I guess. Hey, watch it. Where did the mayor go? Because I might need to talk to them again to even get the gate open. Watch it. Don't murder pass. Oh, hey. That's the mayor. Watch it. What do you want, Mungo? I've heard a lot about the fungus in your cavern, and I'd like to make a deal. Yeah, I'll bet you've heard all about the fungus in my cavern. But yeah, the cave fungus, sure. It's good for food and medicine. And it's the main fucking reason we've stayed alive down here. So, you want a slice of that gray-green gold, huh? I think maybe we could come to an arrangement. What are you offering? Let me think about it and get back to you on that. Oh, what the fuck ever! Come back when you can make a decision! See you around, yeah, McCready. Scram. I'm gonna save before I attempt the uh, speech check. What now, Mongo? Yeah. Give me the fungus, or I'll seal this place underground and you with it. Oh, is that how it's gonna be then? Well then, how's this deal? Rather than you wasting ex the explosives to try to close all of our exits just for us to bury out again, you get my private stash of fungus. Here. But I wouldn't expect much goodwill in town after this, you shit-sucking mungo bastard. Oh, lost karma. See you around, my greedy. Just fucking go, okay? I'm over encumbered and cannot run. So then how about I make the other deal? What now, Mongo? I bring in needed supplies and I get some of the fungus in return. Hmm, that's not a terrible deal. And it didn't mean more of those dumbasses can stay safely down here instead of scaving all the time. Okay, for every two bits of strange meat or buff out. I'll make sure you get a piece of fungus. Not too bad, huh? I'll spread the word to Lucy and Eclair. They've got uses for them, so they'll make the trade and we'll all be happy, okay? Alright, so if I find buff out, which I don't even use anyway, then I can trade it here for the fungus. You don't want to go there. So you know the way to get there? Yeah, I do. It's through Murder Pass. Not a real safe way to go, but it's the only door that works. That's the only way? It's the only way that works, yeah. The other door hasn't worked since before I was here. Computer's busted and not even Joseph can make it work. Where can I find Joseph? I'm the mayor, not a babysitter, Mungo. Beats me. 
Maybe he's back there by the door. Fuck if I know. I want to use Murder Pass to reach Vault 87. You sure about that? It's scary in there. Even I don't like going in there, and I'm really brave. Yeah, I'm sure. Okay, if you say so. Come on, let's get the gate open for you, Mungo. Murder pass time. So yes, I guess I did need to talk to the mayor again. Time to see what's down in murder pass. I have an, ex an expectation of death claws, so... If it's not death claws, uh, Father would be proud of you. It might be um, possibly better. I have to talk to the mayor again to open it. Why are you still pestering me, you moron? Just fucking go, okay? Oh, here we go. Murder pass is open. Time to go down. Through the door. No. Clank him. No. Five, six rounds. And sledgehammer. Oh, five, five, six rounds. Ooh. And I will be right back, actually. Getting a call. I guess I went to uh, pick up the call but call hung up so back to the game I I guess your father would be proud of you Thirty-two caliber rounds. Tales of Junktown Jerky Vendor. Here, I'll do this while I'm in my inventory. Oh, I have to buff out. Read that. There. Inject. And on, on my way. On my way through Murder Pass. You're still too heavy. What is coming ahead has a lot of goodies. Ooh, okay. Too heavy. So then should I go back and trade in uh, with a lamplight? Go to, um, what do you call it? Uh, Underworld 2. Is this relevant to the mission? 
Oh, yeah, I actually have a camp or a uh, companion now, so I would go home or either sell or drop stuff. Did you get the power armor training? Yes, I did. I did get the power armor training. Woo! Jeez. Oh, missile launcher. Oh, there goes my leg. Go ahead. Fire it right now. They did! They actually did. At point blank range. Leg, right leg crippled. I'm trying to cri cripple their legs too. Oh, there goes. Did they go. Oh, they went down there. Uh oh. Jeez. Well, your companion can carry some stuff for you. Yeah, I don't know what I would give them currently, though, at this moment. I mean, I guess I can give them all the misc stuff, maybe. stench on the wind. Let us not tarry for long. <laughs> Let's trade equipment. In the words of Elder assault Prince, rifle, assault rifle, assault rifle. Well equipped is a brother keeping to his duty. Here, have a stim pack. Will you actually use it? Too many weapons. I don't know. I think I'd still use all these weapons though. Okay, laser rifle or, pas or plasma rifle? Which one? Because that's the only, those are the only two weapons that I would probably want to consider putting away. Laser rifle is an improved laser rifle. But the plasma rifle still does more damage. Even if it is damaged be below half. Is but does the laser rifle do like something? else other than shoot a laser I guess I can I can try it I 
Okay, I think I came from this way. Never liked the plasma guns. They work, but shoot slower. Yeah, they keep the door open, I guess. Watch it. I think what I'm going to do is go back to Underworld and also to the library and trade the books and scrap metal. Because I have like 20 something scrap metal, I think. So. And also. Vigilance is necessary in this location. Be on your guard, my friend. Let's trade equipment. In the words of Elder Theus, a brother well equipped Taking is a back. brother keeping to his duty. Here, fat man, because that weighs 30. And flamer, because that weighs 15. And this weighs 9. This weighs 10. Missile launcher weighs 20. So maybe that too. Let's go. Lead the way. Wait a second. Okay, this goes back. I'm still gonna go to Underworld and you do. Go to Big Town? Of course you do. Oh, okay. What's with the party hat? Oh, I forgot I had that on. It was for my birthday. Here, you take it. I don't want it anymore. Big Town, I've been there before. You have? I mean, of course you have. It's an awesome place. Well, enough talking. Let's get a move on. You are taking me to Big Town, right? All right, let's go to Big Town. All right, yeah! Big Town, here we come. I'm getting a phone call again. Okay. Do another BRB. All right, I'm back. Ooh. So wait, can they both 
Oh, they're both coming with me. Are we there yet? Speech 100%. You're starting to get on my nerves, Sticky. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I was just really excited. I'll, uh, I'll shut up now. Enough chit chat. Come on, let's hurry up and get to Big Town. Well, I guess I'm going to Big Town on top of Underworld. Now, can I just. Can I just. do this? I don't even- I don't remember where Big Town is. Okay, yeah, I have <laughs> no clue anymore. Roughly due east of where you are. I was starting to think that Big Town wasn't a very good place to live, but now I think we can do it, thanks to you. I have to go now. Remember, if you ever need a sidekick, I'm your man. Oh. Okay. So then I can have them as a companion as well? Maybe. Find the museum again. Oh, I'll go to the Arlington Library as well to go trade the books. I think I have two books. Why don't you look where you're going? Welcome back. Have you been successful in your search for books? I have three war books for you. Excellent. How many are you willing to trade? Take all the books I have. Very well. Here is your reward. Use it well and return with more books when you can. I have to go now. Of course. I can also go to Seneca Station and trade more sugar bombs. two companions but the other has to be the dog sticky was just an escort job ah uh, okay sorry i'm on a break i'll be back in a bit if you need some food Where's Winthrop at? Are you following me? Oh. Well, look who's back. What can I do you for, smooth skin? I have some scrap metal for you. Not a moment too soon. 
I've got 20 bits of scrap metal to trade. 20? That's great. I knew this would work out. Just tell me what you want in return for the parts. I'll take the stim packs. 20 bits of scrap metal for me, four stim packs for you. It's been a pleasure doing business. I have to go now. Let me know if you have any of that scrap metal to sell. What else do I have? Oh, one more scrap metal and I would have had 25. Now, sugar bombs. So, to Seneca Station. Rusty train station. Oh, there it is. Why don't you look where you're going? So, what did you bring me? Here's all the sugar bombs I've got. Nice work. The Ultra Jet's coming along nicely. Ooh. First aid box locked very easy. Stim pack. Guess I didn't see that when I was in here the other times. Keep it moving. But now I got one more stim pack. How many do I have currently? Oh, 137. Still not enough. Need all the stim packs. And my carry weight is now down to 164. Back to little lamp light. Mungo land. time again watch it watch it through the caves. Keep out. Not part of the tour. No, no, this is part of the tour. Liar. All clear. Stand down. All clear. Stand down. Oop. Chinese assault rifle. 
repair mine. There you go. Oh. Oh, there. Disarm. Now, through this tunnel. Ooh. No Get the dart gun out. Cripple him. Victory. Purified water, stim pack, and a super sludge. Weight 20. This does 19, and that does 19, so. Probably not gonna pick that up. Till maybe later. To collect it. Sensor modules. Stim pack. Ammunition box with five, five, six, ten millimeter rounds. Jeez. Quantum. Ooh, stealth boy. Another conductor. Ooh. Reactor chamber. Keep out, not part of the tour. Quest completed, picking up the trail. No access. Finding the Garden of Eden. Oh, look out. They're screening us with a song. They're already injured. From what? Engaging targets. Oh, jeez. Sound the all clear. He didn't have to hit him. They're friendly. They know attack. Be almost out of reach. Oh, oh no! Hard. From there, I've got you back. Don't be left on mine. Jeez. Arm hurt. Frag grenades. Five five six rounds. More five five six rounds. Yeah. 
and up I go. Ooh. Anything in these? Nope. Get through the store I go. Grenades. Where's the super mutant arm as a weapon? Could use that too. It up, but they didn't equip it again. Mutilated arm. I've got your basic superior weapons and training. Area secure. Oh, another Chinese assault rifle. Which I can repair more with. Ooh, damage 40. That's almost as much damage as the minigun. I think. Let me see. Oh yeah, 47. Yes. What do you require? Let's trade equipment. In the words of Elder Theus, a brother well equipped is a brother keeping to his duty. Let's go. Lead the way. There. Now I have even less carry weight. Put the minigun in their inventory. I'll just use it <laughs> whenever I run out of ammo and literally everything else. Empty. Five, six rounds, six bottle caps, and two frag grenades. Nope. Two mutilated legs. Nope. Anything in these lockers? No. Okay. Ooh. Ten millimeter rounds. And now where do I go? Another staircase somewhere? Ooh. 20 darts. Goes down. Medical brace. Impact. I guess downwards? No, because that's where I just came from. So then... Where have I not been yet? It was in here, and there's just those two rooms on the sides. No staircase there. And that's just this, so... Maybe back this way? Okay, yep, this goes up. Very hard.
Oh, and then this staircase goes upwards, so I'm just gonna go this way. Oh no, no need to fight. Oh, oh now maybe. Twelve bottle caps. Now try and hide from no need to try and hide, I'll just do this. Oh, I got him. Five, five, six rounds. Oh. Impact. Rat X. Scrap metal there, now I have five scrap metal. Microfusion cells. <laughs> Terminal. Oops. Let's redo it. Lock picks. Unlock medical safe. Oh, I could have dual, dual unlocked it, but didn't think about it. All employees must read. To all medical record staff, any vault member marked as deceased by the special EEP section will be tagged and coded in the computer as an unexplained or undefined death. This comes directly from the overseer of this vault who will be personally inspecting your reports to make sure that they are accurate. Please refrain from sending inquiries or clarification requests to this office or the EEP chief phys physician. Please print out and give any next to kin form DV900L if they have any questions. Oh, if they have questions. Deceased listing. Vault 87 deceased individuals. Total deceased 93. Natural deaths 04. Codes N001 through N012. Accidental deaths 02. Codes A001 A008. Unexplained slash undefined 87. Code UD000. Donald Scott. That's a. Uh, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to read out all these codes. Let's go through these and see. There's any names that I recognize from reading other stuff, but I don't know if I will. But I'll just go through this so if it's something later. Death code definitions. To all medical record staff, the following are the new revised death code definitions. Please update all files to include these codes for faster handling. Note. That criminal deaths slash suicides are never listed in these files as such. They must be listed under a code A008 in accidental deaths as per Vault Tech mandate. Natural deaths. N001 microbial agents. N002 radioactive agents. N003 toxic agents. N004 allergic reactions. N005 heart disease slash in in schemic is i i don't know how to read that n006 cerebrovascular disease n007 bronchitis slash emphysema slash asthma n008 liver disease slash Carosis N009 Cancer type 1 Categories N010 Cancer type 2 Categories N011 
unexpected organ failure, and 012H. Accidental deaths. A001, massive radiation overexposure. A002, massive toxin overexposure. A003, electrical shock. A004, crushing slash heavy object. A005, elevator mishap. A006, drowning. A007, mistaken weapons discharge. A008, instant death syndrome. Other. UD000. Undefined, unexplained. C supervisor. Okay. I forgot what was happening before I went into there. Ooh, I got them to drop their weapon. Drop your weapon! Oh, hello, friend. Five, six rounds. Okay, maximum repair until I use it. So I'll just drop that. And upwards I go more. Your money. The slabs. It's not showing their health anymore. Five, five, six rounds. And safe. Twenty-eight bottle caps, pure money, and another scope board for Magnum. Wait a second. Okay, I do have two. There. Repaired more. Oh, this is a hard lockpick. Two missile. Where? Jeez. One more for the brotherhood. <laughs> One more for the brotherhood. Okay, I think that was everything in there. Test chamber zero one. Chamber status check. Oh, FEV test chamber zero one authorized personnel only. Error. Chamber offline code zero nine eight seven YU. FEV reserves. FEV tanks depleted. Failed FEV subject. Radiation. Two rads. One rad. Okay. No, oh, you're standing in the radiation. Here, I'm closing this door. Again. Test chamber zero two. Chamber status check. Error chamber offline, same error code. FEV tanks depleted. Okay. No more game. Damn it! Did you die already? Sound the off. More five five six rounds. Oh. Okay. No going in there. 
Blood pack, rad X, rad waste, and pack. Use the blood pack for right now. There. Scrap metal. Vault 87 Chief Physician's Terminal. Dr. Wayne Merrick. Entry 8734190. The latest subjects in the Evolutionary Experiment Program, EEP, are showing some promise after only a single exposure to modified FEV. We are currently testing five subjects, two males and three fem females. Each one of them is under 24-hour observation as usual. We hope to have a breakthrough in this strain as the continual pressure from vault Tech and the military at Mariposa is becoming most bothersome. Entry 87-3422-4 Incredible results! After only three days, subjects B440 and B164 and D624 D or 624 all of our female specimens are all exhibiting a unique change. Their bodies are undergoing severe physical changes losing most of their visible female indicators and transforming to an almost asexual state. They are also seeing increased upper body strength and muscle formation in line with males. Similarly, subjects C376 and A541, our male specimens, are losing most of their visible male indicators are taking on some asexual state as the females. It seems that the FEV wishes to level the playing field and start with a clean slate as it works. Entry 87-34233 We've had a minor setback. Subject B440, Mary Kilpatrick, is now deceased. According to my autopsy, she died of a massive loss of brain function and was unable to sustain her basic bodily needs. This is the usual pattern we see in all of the FEV strains we test. The brains of the subjects become too damaged to support even the most basic human needs, eating, sleeping, etc. So far, all other subjects are nominal and continue to exhibit physical changes. Entry 87-34265 at 10 days, we are now noticing that the skin of all of our remaining test subjects is actually thickening and becoming more resilient. This seems to be the FEV bringing about some new adaptive change. This is the kind of result we were looking for. Adaptations that could prove useful in the combat situations. Oh, in combat situations. I need to remember to congratulate Dr. Philo on his skin engineering. His coded instructions in the strain seems to be exactly what he expected. Entry 87 34 Okay. Once again, I've hit that damn wall. At, the four at 14 days, all the test subjects began to exhibit severe bouts of rage and anxiety, so much so that they were in a danger to my team and to this facility. I had no choice once again but to order them to be destroyed. It pains me every time we do this, the same cycle has been repeating in every strain we test. We always see superior physical adaptations, but the mental changes are their downfall. Okay. Okay, and I think that is all stuff to take from here. You're on point. I shall back you up. You! Go over there! Uh, please! Uh, come speak to me! Uh, I'm in the room to your left! Oh, use the intercom next to the window! This is a coward's game! Uh... Oh? Hey now. Oh no. No swing. Let's fight face to face. Uh, they're they're locked in. 
No, no, no fight. Hiding is futile. It can't be. Either you are quite real, and I am going quite mad. Could you actually be a pure human? Yes, I am human, but what are you? Me? You care who I am? Mm, forgive me. Uh, I'm not used to pleasantries. I'm more used to grunts and being struck about by the others. My name's Fox. I've lived in this cage all my life. How ironic that the others consider you a mutant of their kind. Yes. Indeed it is ironic. Forgive my astonishment, but I hadn't expected to meet someone with such a learned outlook of these things. It is a pleasant change. I suppose I shouldn't be surprised. It was only a matter of time before someone like you showed up for the deck. What do you know about the Gek? I know what it is. I know where it is. And best of all, I know how you can get your hands on it. Why would you help me? Because you can help me. Let me out of this place. I can't take it anymore. I can't even recall. How long I've been here. Take me with you, and I'll retrieve the gack for you. Why would I have difficulty getting the gack? The chamber in which the gack resides is absolutely flooded with radiation. It's unlikely you'd survive very long. Myself, on the other hand, have surprisingly inherited a useful trait from my fellow meta-humans. I am highly resistant to radiation. Let me out of here, and I will place the Gek safely in your hands. How do I get you out? At the end of the hallway, to your right is a maintenance room. Inside... You'll find the fire control console for the medical area. Uh, trip the alarm on it, and I'll be able to get out. Oh, a word of warning, though. Tripping the console activates a failsafe and will open all the recovery rooms in the medical area. So, what do you think? Can you do it? Okay, Fox, you got a deal. sensible person. Now, get me out of this place. I can't stand it anymore. You know what the Gek does? We can discuss this later. Right now, concentrate on getting this door open. I have to go now. It's my hope that we will speak again soon. Can I just lockpick this? Or will not lockpick it, but... Just open it with the console? Terminal, rather. Oh, overpowered. Identify specimen. Subject DG624. Unlock door. Lock air, call for service. Oh. So, do I have to? Do the uh, fire control.
You're exhausting my patience. Is there something amiss? The door still seems to be sealed. Ryan, remind me how to... Oh, wait. What do I do once I trip the fire control console? I'll, I'll stay here until you've cleared a path to me. So just be careful. Some of these uh, failed experiments are quite nasty. Remind me how to get you out of that room. At the end of the hallway, to your right, is a maintenance room. Inside... You'll find the fire control console for the medical area. Trip the alarm on it, and I'll be able to get out. Oh, wait, a word. Oh. Okay. To the right. So right here? No. To the right. Does that mean up here or no? Oh. No more games. Time to die. Ah! Oh. I have six rounds and a Chinese assault rifle. What's my death call gauntlet like? Still does 18. Just preemptively do that. This is maximum repair that I can do, so... Must have been a glitch. Must have been a glitch. I hear control console on the right, so like down this way to the right. Physicians terminal. This chamber. Test chamber. Zero zero one. I think I was already in this room. None of those. So then. Come on out and let's fight face to face. Is it to the left and then to the right? Once I get. It's not in here, right? I don't think so. So to the right. Oh. Is isolation room zero one. Oh. Worshipping. Identify specimen subject B one sixty four. Unlock door. Door unlocked. Caps. 308 rounds, two bobby pins, stim pack. This is a coward's game. Oh. Not an intercom to talk to them. A noise. Now try and hide. Oh, <laughs> there goes the game. How far? How far is my save back? When? What's the last door I opened in there?
test labs. This is when I first got in there. Oh, I think it is. Okay. I have 12 frag grenades. Take one of these. <laughs> Gonna eat my arms. Just gonna go down. Oops. Use the frag grenade. Don't go down there. They go. Take all my frag grenades. Damn it. Would you die already? Victory. Victory. Do this again just in case. Cause I don't know if this would actually be a thing to be um used later for like information or in a, in a chat or something with another person scrap metal and after I get this stuff save I we'll use the blood pack again because why not Oh, not on the auto safe. New safe. It is foolish. You let go over there. It can't be. Please. <laughs> Could you come speak to me? I'm in the room to your left. Oh, use the intercom next to the window. Go on the right side then. This room again. Very hard and hard. I'll just double do it then. Ooh. Can. Oh, there you go. What is that? Dummy Qual Channel Dummy Bear. Okay. Hello, hello, hey, hey. How's it going, Grandmaster Farmer? Yeah, it's an attack from the game Final Fantasy VII. Disappeared. Oh, there it is. For Elder Lions. For Elder Lions. That one had a stealth boy implanted into it. So 
I'm gonna lock pick this door too now. Oh, broke bobby pin. Ooh, I am in Final Fantasy communities and weed growing communities. That's about it. Ah. Uh, You're exhausting my patience. Oh wait, now I can do the terminal for the extra XP. Identify specimen B for forty. This is foolish. Reveal yourself. <laughs> Here, I'll reveal them for you. Now, I don't break all my bobby pins trying to get in. We've got company. Oh, we'll get him. Need some help here. One more for the Brotherhood. <laughs> One more for the Brotherhood. Or bottle caps. Mm. What was that? Walk out away from there. Now. Games. Ah, Woo! Look out! Grenades. Don't oh, go in there. Back up. There you go. I'm trying to hit him. You keep running into my grenades. I missed. Death Claw Gauntlet. Get the gun out of their hands. Ooh. Or just remove all their limbs. F5-6 rounds. Medical Wing Maintenance Terminal. Now oh, here goes. Did that release them? Oh, just open these, right? Whoa! Hey now! Why hostile? Uh... Why? Why are they hostile? Okay, bye. I don't want to fight him. Sid Vicious. Like, Sound the all clear. I'm trying to remember. Finally, freedom, true freedom. <laughs> I cannot thank you enough for this gift. You have no idea how long I've pictured this moment in my mind, and it feels far better than I'd imagined. Now, for my part of the bargain. Follow me. Oh, okay. Okay, Sid Vicious is from... That's like a band, right? Like, that's from a band, right? I'm trying to remember what... What it is, though. Because I've 
watched like a documentary. Yep, okay. He was in the Sex Pistols. Yes, okay. I'm allowing that. <laughs> the term has been temporarily allowed, I guess. So now you can say, you can say the name of the band without it, like, blocking your message. Yeah, okay. John Simon Ritchie, better known by his stage name Sid Vicious, was an English musician best known as the bassist and co-vocalist for the punk rock band Sex Pistols. Okay. Now I know. <laughs> I don't know how long I'll really keep that information in my mind, but I know for now. <laughs> Oh snap, I made a no no. No no no, you're fine. You made a you made a yes cuz you answered my question. <laughs> and now the term's permitted, so now you can say it <laughs> and it will let you. What happens? Like how do I make terms not? Remove Okay, slash. Oh, it actually tells me commands. Very, very sick. Oh, here we go. I can do... Oh, I don't want to do that, actually. I don't know, I'll figure out the commands at some point. And when I do, I'll do something with them. Oop, got their arm. No gun for you. All clear. Stand down. Ooh, they had two Chinese assault rifles. Requires key. Oh, I didn't even realize until now that they have like a, a vault suit on. Two health. There we go. Drop your weapon. Oop. Enemy down. Enemy down. Got one here. Engage me. No more game. I could die. Ooh. No, you went. I got him. We're the melee. We're all using melee right now, I think. Oh, nope. Not the Brotherhood member. I've got plenty more. Come on. Ooh, now they are. Get them. <laughs> Your death is my victory. 
Is this it? Oh no. Nope. Lead on. Oh, here we go. Okay. I didn't hit Fox. I thought I was going to, but I did not. Right X and a stim pack. Okay. You stay here. Beyond this door, the hallways and chambers are flooded with radiation. I'll get the case and bring it right back. Keep your eyes open. Many of my lesser-minded brethren are bound to stumble across us. I think... I think I like Fox. Can I get Fox as, like, an actual companion? Chamber terminal. And <laughs> danger. Extreme radiation levels. Danger. Seal radiation chamber. Emergency radiation purge. I'm going to save before I do any of that. Because I don't know what will happen if I do it. Venting system offline. Okay. Ooh, okay. 54 radiation per second. Yeah. I see now. I have like 12 rataways, so... I don't... I don't mind using one, but, jeez. Yes, I liked him best. Oh, sick. I'm sorry, Star Paladin Cross, but I think I'm going to go with, uh, I'm going to go with the, the other friend we have with us. Ooh. Box. Our bargain is complete. Did I get it? As promised, yeah, here's the gek. I hope it's worth it. Uh, I'm afraid this is where you and I part company. I'll find my way out of this place. Don't worry. Maybe we'll... Meet again somewhere in the the wasteland. No, Fox. Yes. What is it? You can't come with me. Sorry, I'm afraid a super mutant wouldn't be welcome in the places you frequent. All I would do is cause you undue attention and you know, probably get you killed. Oh no. I have to go now. Farewell, my friend. I suspect we may meet again. I want. You're on point. I shall back you up. Don't worry. I want Fox friend. Please. Please be friend. Well, I got the gek. Ooh. Lucy, Eclair. Looks like we've got ourselves a freelance scaver. Pay the bastard in cave fungus and we should be good for supplies. Lucy, trade fungus for buff out doses. Keep those rickets treatments coming. Eclair, trade fungus for strange meat. That should help keep the fungus pools fertilized. And anyone who's got a fucking problem with this setup answers to me, RJ McCready. 
Ah, yes, the fungus trade. I did get that set up too before coming down here. Cheat code time. Whoa. What the heck? I was like in the floor. Is there even a way to avoid that or do you have to go that way? Cave fungus, the cornerstone of any nutritious, nutritious post-apocalyptic meal. No, there's not a way to avoid what just happened? Question mark. Mandatory. Oh. Here's the gek. Our bargain is complete. As promised, here's the gek. I hope it's worth it. Uh, I'm afraid this is where you and I part company. I'll find my way out of this place. Don't worry. Maybe we'll meet again somewhere in the, the wasteland. Yes! I want fox. The heck? You don't? Don't come... You don't do anything when we go? Gek. You cannot remove quest items from your inventory. Oh, okay. Here's the question, could I have come here before even the quest starting and then get it anyway? Would it still have the same thing happen? If I did so? Like, <laughs> hypothetically at the start of the game literally couldn't I have just come right here? As long as I somehow you know, got to this point. You go first. No, no, no. You go first. Not sure, never tried. Because uh. now I just thought of that. Now that I'm here. I was thinking about it while I was doing this. Like, couldn't I have just come, you know, earlier in the game instead of waiting for me to even find my dad, honestly. I could have just got it and then brought the Gek to my father, maybe, and then could have just, like, already had, you know, the Gek. And maybe would have done the same thing, like Project Purity or whatever. You're gonna be in this cutscene. Oh, it puts me in the room. Okay. And then the Brotherhood of Steel member disappears. Objective is secured, sir.
Good work, soldier. Make sure the Gek is secured aboard my Vertibird. Yes, sir. I'll have the text come down and remove it immediately, sir. You're certain he's unharmed? Yes, sir. He'll pass out shortly, but we can revive him. Excellent. Prepare him for transport immediately. Right away, sir. I'm gonna pass out. You can skip sequences if you know where things are, and you can go straight to Vault 112 and find your dad. Ah, okay. So, you're awake. Let's keep this nice and simple. You're going to tell me the code for that purifier, and you're going to tell me now. What the hell is going on here? Uh. I'll tell you what's going on here. You lost. The good guys won this one, and now we're just wrapping up loose ends. We've got the purifier, now we just need the code to start it. You're going to give me that code now, and save us all a lot of trouble. Maybe I'll even let you go. So how about it? <laughs> why do you want this code so badly? You know why. We can't start the purifier without it. The longer the purifier isn't running, the more people suffer. Now I'm running out of patience, son. I want that code, and I want it now. <laughs> so I can just like... I will say, do not leave this area without getting the bobblehead or you can't get it. Without cheating. Oh. What if I give them these codes? Like... The question is, is one of these codes going to be somehow right if I give them the code? Because if one is right, I don't want to, like, say anything. Wait a second. The the Bible passage, isn't it? Isn't it two one six? I never gave him the code, so I don't know what happens. Wait a second. No. Wait, what? Yes. Oh. Sorry, I'm just looking up something now. Okay, yeah. Yeah, it is. 21-6. Revelation 21-6. So if I say 216, then they would actually get the code. So yes, I could accidentally... I could accidentally actually give them the code, but... I guess you're saying I don't think he believes you no matter how you respond, so... Um... I mean, I didn't know what the code was until I just thought about it, so. The code is 704. Yeah. Very well. We'll just verify that now. Oh, good. Do it right now. This is Colonel Autumn. Are your men in place, soldier? Affirmative, sir. Standing by for code transmission. 
Your code is 704. Repeat, 704. Confirm and enter. Copy, 704. Okay, so you can, like, Stand literally on. say whatever. Code now. Negative, sir. The code's no good. I just lost another man. Ooh. Why do you insist on making things difficult? Maybe I should start shooting. How much blood you think you can afford to lose before you tell me what I want to know? Colonel, I have need of you. Mr. President, I have no time for other matters. I'll be with you shortly. Now, Colonel. Yes, sir. Got him. Take that, Enclave. Can't get the real code for me, even though I do actually know the code. Just, like, scan my brain. I do apologize for Colonel Autumn's attitude. He's been under a great deal of stress lately. I've no doubt that you know who I am. I'm sure you've heard my radio broadcasts. Nope. <laughs> I'd like to have a word with you face to face. I think there are a few things that you and I should discuss. You'll find your possessions in the locker near the door. I'll unlock the way for you. Oh, sick. And I'll unlock your restraints as well. I'll be waiting for you in my office. Please don't tarry. Please don't tarry. I don't think I've ever heard that, like... What? Oh. No, okay. Hey. Good luck added. <laughs> Can't give me the level up screen while I'm in here. Oh, broken equipment. Well, this isn't broken, and this isn't, so I'll put those on. Oh, I don't have my... Fat Man. Or else I would just fire it as soon as I got out, but... That's unfortunate. I gave it to the, uh, the Brotherhood member. You know, I think I will actually invest into melee since I'm using the gauntlet, so. Small gun's 53. Get up to 55 at least. Energy weapons. You know what? Yeah, I'll just keep all of them as close together as possible. Or wait, medicine. Mmm, maybe not. You know what? I will put that up to 50, put that at 53, and I'm just going to invest fully into medicine because my stim packs will actually heal me more, so I'm doing that. So I don't buy like 100 stim packs. And now what? Ooh. This has just overall resistance. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get just the overall resistance cyborg. Acquires key. Wait. Oh, what? I had the option to talk. Now I don't. Oh, now it's unlocked. Oh, the camera sees me. I intercom. Is it only if I stand a certain distance? Oh, yep, intercom has been turned off. Oh. Hold it right there. You're supposed to be in that holding cell. You're not going anywhere. 
There's a full complement of guards in the next room. As soon as I get them, you're going back to your cell. In a body bag, if necessary. Charisma. <laughs> I'm on my way up to see the president. How about I put in a good word for you? No, I'm just going to do the speech check. Whoa, whoa. Let's calm down. I'm supposed to be here. On whose authority? I have no records of that. You're supposed to be in a holding cell. Oh, here we go. The president wants to wants me to speak to me in his office. What? No one sees the president except Colonel Autumn. Stand right there while I check this out. Uh, oh. Mr. President, I'm sorry to bother you. Uh, this is Lieutenant Williams. I have an unauthorized individual here who says he's supposed to speak with you. I'm surprised to hear from you, Lieutenant. I don't recall authorizing you to contact me directly. Yes, sir. I, I'm sorry about that. I, I just... Uh, it just seemed out of the ordinary. I apologize. Apology noted, Lieutenant. Yes, I instructed our friend to come up to the control room. No questions, no interference. Am I understood? I understand, sir. Again, I apologize for the interruption. Allow our friend to pass and report your superior for reassignment, Lieutenant, at once. Oh no, yes, I could have put in a good word for Buddy Boy. <laughs> Enclave officers fleeing. Whoa, enemies. Attention to all Raven Rock personnel. This is your president speaking. I've invited our guests from. No, no, shoot me. I'm quick enough. Please do not impede his progress. Thank you. <laughs> Too late. They shot me. Now you gotta reassign all of them. For being. For being hostile. Attention. This is Colonel Autumn. You are hereby ordered to ignore Whoa. the President's previous directive. The prisoner from Vault 101 is to be shot on sight. I repeat. Hey there. Bye. <laughs> shot on sight. This is an order. Go, weapon hot. Permanent in control of the president. Eliminate target. Okay. You know what? What do I have? Don't have my flamer. I don't have my fat man. Uh, so it's unfortunate. Because I would have probably just shot that at them, honestly. They're full health. Oh, yeah. Yep, melee time. I just leveled up my melee skills, so... Oh, okay. Ooh, sugar bombs. Enclave power armor. Well, I could technically take it. Agility minus one. Charisma minus one. Just repair them. But I do already have a set at home, so... Once I can, I could actually just sell this. Damn, is the resistance of 42? Heck yeah. Let's go. Enclave with a gauntlet. I was already released. Cigarettes. Energy cells. I would like. I could 
take them for the shish kebab, but you know what? Why not? I have carry weight now, so. Oh, no sugar bombs here. Back this way I go, I guess. Oh, heck yeah. Damage resistance 48. Come get me. I'll just stand right here and wait. You won't shoot through this. Yep. Um, okay, bye. Do they not see me? Oh, there we go. Oh, I think I got strength from the suit, actually, so... Woo! Tesla armor. There it is. This is the kind of armor that I'm, I was looking for. Oh, and I can't repair it with this. So, drop. On. There we go. Heck yeah. Now nah, that's what I'm talking about. Ooh! Okay, yep. I like this. Ow. Hey now. Where's that coming from? Attack pattern alpha. What is that? Just run in and try to like... Oh no, you're... You're not running in. Oh, hi. Got you. No medic for you. Only, only death claw hand in your face. Plasma rifle. Ooh, more Tesla armor. Repair. A <laughs> repair. With this one. Pack right away. Ooh, flamer fuel and plasma mine. Too bad I don't have my flamer with me. Oh, missiles? I don't even think I have my missile launcher either. Scrap metal. I'm, I'm getting this mutant out. Oh, no, I can't. Oh. Oh, yeah, I can't use that to repair the Tesla armor. Unfortunately. Going up here first. Then maybe I'll go down. Depending on if this door... Oh, is it that door? I thought there was another door up here that leads to somewhere. Oop. If I had water and a blood pack, I'll use that right away. Blood pack. Boom. Fall back to regroup. Cancel alert. Lost. Target alert. Oh, yeah, right here. Two A. Here we go. Ow. I'm just gonna single handedly clear this place out. Unless they do the same thing again to me and like just blow me up and knock me to the floor. But like even then they would still need to get the code for me. Ooh! Ah! 
Ooh. Ripper. Another ripper. Plasma grenade, enclave power armor. Yeah. Ooh, Tesla. Microfusion, plasma rifle. How many plasma rifles do I have now? <laughs> like four. There, repaired one. I'm still over encumbered because I got the other armor. Repair with this. And put that on. Repair with this. Oh yeah. Damage resistance 62. Heck yeah. Now we're talking. Ooh. Deathclaw friend. If only I could release them. Standing down from alert. Cancel alert. Give me. I need this to repair mine. Ooh. Let me just stand right here and repair. Damage resistance 64. Okay. Plasma rifle. Oh, fully repaired as far as I can get it. Aid. Impact. Oh, they're over there. Come in here, please. What's my gauntlet at right now? 17. Still only dropped one point. So, I still have plus strength too, so it would probably... I think it'd be closer to like... Maybe 18, 19. Microfusion cell, plasma mine. Another laser rifle. Can I repair the laser rifle with the regular? Yes, I can. Whew. Pretty sick. Retreating. Energy cell, enclave, un enclave scientist outfit. Science plus five. Okay. Blood pack. Use now. Pack cigarettes. Wait for fuel. Flame or fuel, or scrap metal. Save now, while I'm this far. <laughs> Save over to this. Kill all. <laughs> that makes me think of like the Left 4 Dead 2 intro. Kill all sons of bitches. That's my official instructions. Yeah, Ellis. Scrap metal. Hell yeah. <laughs> iBot. Can I have iBot as friend, please? Just like Fallout New Vegas. Take all these pencils. 
because they don't weigh anything. Oh, I've already been through here. Oh, Enclave Scientists. Where are they running to is the question. Ooh, okay, this is the doors. Save here. Yes. Carton of cigarettes. Pack of cigarettes. Combat knife. Oh, pack of cigarettes. Pack of cigarettes. Do all these have like a pack of cigarettes in them? No. There. Seems like half of them do. Okay. Ooh. Don't want to go down there. Five, five, six rounds. Plasma mine. Death claw cage? Oh, but there's not a death claw in there. That's unfortunate. Oh. Fall back. Okay, bye. Security barrier terminal. Time to unlock. Disable barrier. Security barrier disabled. Okay. Back cigarettes. Empty. Empty. I don't know. First aid box, please. Just do that. Bobby pin, stim pack. Okay, those are all empty. Gun case. Plasma pistol. I do not have one of those yet. Enclave power armor, but I already have the Tesla armor. Plasma grenade, four power fist. I have one of those back at the Megaton house. You? What are you doing here? Wait a minute, what are you doing here? They... they captured me. Brought me here from Project Purity. I didn't want to help them at first, but the technology they have here, it's so far advanced from anything I've worked with. You've been helping them? Of course. You've seen the kind of technology these people have. They want to help people. They want to change the wasteland. I couldn't pass up an opportunity to work in an environment like this. Why would you abandon everything you worked with, worked for, for, oh jeez. Why would you have abandoned anything you worked, everything you worked for with Dr. Lee? Okay. Look, it's not personal. Really, it's not. But Dr. Lee, she's scraping by. She's scavenging for parts in the wastes. The Enclave has everything it needs. They're light years ahead of anything Dr. Lee could accomplish. Working here is my best chance to help make the world a better place. You know how to get out of here? I'm afraid I'm not able to help you with that. You should go. I don't want anyone seeing me talking to you. I'm gonna pickpocket you if I can. <laughs> I can wait here. I'm allowed. I waited here for an hour. Noodles. Hey there. You have noodles. Retreating. <laughs> Retreating. Grenade box. Oh, that's just this room. Okay. Two C, two B is also that way. What is this over here? Ooh. Okay. Just a door. Any more friends in here? A. All 
And I think it was, yeah, I was already in here. So I'll just go to 2C. Retreating. Oh. Fall back. No, wait, that's up. 2B. 2A. This way? No. So I'm right here. So I can go... This way? Yes, okay. 2C. I think the bobblehead is in the captain's quarter or something. It's a small side room. Level 3. Level 3. That's the way to go out. I think. Is it upwards or is it downwards? Is it from the first, second, or third level? Might be in the next area. Uh, okay. Oh, here they come. How do they know? I'm wearing, like, Tesla armor. How do they know it's me? There. Oh, they're running. Bye. Ooh. Got to put down the security barrier. Yep. Decisions. Stable barrier. And no meter rounds. Four missiles. Too bad I don't have my missile launcher. Medex, Mentats, Stim Pack, Blood Pack. Use it right away. You know what? Let's see if I can get my Wazer Wifel upgraded. Nope. Well, repaired. Oh no, I just dropped the Wazer Wifel. I gotta keep that. There you go. Might be in the next area. Look on the table. Oh. You found a vault tech limited edition bobblehead. The inscription on the base reads, Arrive at peaceful resolutions by using superior firepower. Your energy weapon skill has been permanently increased by 10 points. Oh, okay. Well. Well, then maybe I don't invest as many skill uh, points into that, but... The bobblehead gets me up at least 10 points, so. 10 millimeter rounds. Oh, that was like 104. Buff out 5. Mentats 5. ZAX destruct sequence. Ooh. I'm not entirely sure Eden can be trusted. And I think he knows I don't trust him. But I don't think he knows I have the emergency destruct sequence for his console. Priority override, authorization code 4200309, and boom. It'd have to be a last resort, of course, but at least the option is there. Yep. I think I recall something about this. break the lights yeah thanks for letting me know I wouldn't have probably I probably wouldn't have even gone back to look for it again 
Like... And I wouldn't have gotten the buff out and stuff either, probably. Oh! <laughs> I saw it on the table, yeah. I wasn't looking for it, so I just like... Like, I knew you said something about it being here, but I wasn't actively, you know, like... My eyes were not open for it. I did not actually... <laughs> I didn't think about it. Have a nice day. I can... I'm getting a phone call again. Okay. Let me... Do BRB. And I'll be right back. Hey, you ready to see Jerry again? Oh, yeah. Unfortunately, you know, no, 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 you can see, you can see Jerry's face, but I'll just take off the helmet. But uh, currently, well, so far I've been fighting the Enclave, but uh, the sentry bots just kind of attack them. I don't know why yet, so, but yeah, there he is. There's Jerry. With the Death Claw Gauntlet and the Tesla Power Armor. Have a nice day. This has damage resistance of 3, but this has damage resistance of 7, so literally more than 2 times the amount of damage resistance. Did you ever go back to Vault 101? Uh, no. No, I did not. Not yet, anyway. Maybe after... After whatever happens here, maybe I can go back there, but... Still trying to figure out... I guess that... This way. Okay. Yep. Over here, by the console. Ah, face to face at last. It's high time we met. I'm quite pleased you were able to make it. The trip was not what I had intended but serves as an adequate test of your abilities. It's a pleasure to meet you, Mr. President. You're too kind. The pleasure is mine, I assure you. I've been anxious to make your acquaintance for some time. You and I have much to discuss, my young friend. I'm listening. Our nation's capital is at a crossroads. The path that you and I choose here today will affect us all. I need you to act on my behalf to ensure that our country's future is secured. All right, I'll do what I can to help. Just what I needed to hear. What I'm going to ask of you may seem a bit disturbing. 
I assure you there's a very good reason for it. I'd like to explain what I want you to do. Will you indulge me for a moment? Please go on, I'm intrigued. The good people of this country cannot regain control while mutation runs rampant through our land. My soldiers cannot stem the tide, nor can the cult you've come into contact with, this Brotherhood of Steel. Mutations like the super mutants and ghouls must be purged from our society, our world, before we can proceed anew. Where others have failed, I believe your father's work can succeed. My father's work, how is this? Oh, how is that relevant? The purifier your father helped create has the ability to provide clean water to the whole of this capital wasteland. With a simple modification, it can be used to distribute agents that destroy mutated creatures upon ingestion. In time, we could eliminate all mutations in the wasteland. At the same time, the good people of the world regain their health. I need you to make the modification necessary for this to succeed. How exactly would I go about doing this? In front of you will be a vial of modified FEV virus. It can be inserted into the control console for the purifier. Doing so will inject it into the water supply, and the purifier will take care of the rest. You just need the code to activate the purifier. Simple, isn't it? Ooh. I'll give it some thought. It's modified FEV? But the FEV thing was like, was that not? That, that was doing stuff to the test subjects, like, didn't it kill them? I don't know if I want to put that in the water supply. I'll give it some thought. understand that I cannot allow you to leave until you've taken the vial. Ooh. Why do you want my help? Why not have Colonel Autumn help you? Subordinates. I'm sure you've noticed that Colonel Autumn and I do not see eye to eye these days. Figuratively speaking, of course. The good Colonel and I disagree on how best to approach the problem of the wasteland. He feels my methods are too extreme. He's allowed his humanity to cloud his objectivity. And now that he is publicly countermanding my orders, I can no longer rely on him. And so, I turn to you. I hope that you are able to see the larger picture, to understand what's at stake. And of course, if you're successful, there's a place for you in the Enclave. Perhaps you could succeed the Colonel as my confidant. I'll be on my way then. I'm afraid that's not possible. Not until you've taken the vial. Well, I can take it though, right? Yes, I can. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna do another BRB. But, uh, it'll probably be, I don't know, maybe a few minutes or so. Uh, I'm gonna put it in emote only chat for now. And, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll be back.
Sorry about that. I am back now. I think I'm gonna make a... Yeah, I think I'm gonna have this not go for... How long does this say? It's been 12 minutes, I think. Or no, maybe that's since I started the source, but... I don't know... I don't know if I should have BRB music or not, just because... Um... You know, depending on how long I'm gone, it would just be playing the same looped music for however long, so... But, uh, anyway... I shall return to the game. Took the vial, and, uh... Not really sure what I'm gonna do. You have the vial and the task set before you. Shouldn't you be on your way now? Oh wait. Good, good. Of course, I'll know if you manage to succeed in our little mission. I'll be watching you. I'm gonna save, and then I'm gonna see. Your choice, I have no preference. I have music running here on my end. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, no. The only thing is, is like, you know, I don't want it to be... You know, repetitive. You know, it's just gonna be going for however long until I get back. So, sometimes I have like... Uh like a BRB go for longer than I'd like it to, but yeah, not really, um, not, not a thing that I, uh, feel like I can really change right now. So, uh, save on this. Oh, let me see. Guess what? I know your self-destruct code. Oh, come now. Bluffing is not really your style, is it? Well, there's certainly no need to threaten me. Oh. Also, I have two streams to going to occupy me. Oh, okay. Ryu champ. Okay. I didn't know that's what it was. I don't really know Street Fighter, so... Yeah. Um... I don't know. I guess... Like, you know, I... <laughs> I want it to be entertaining. I don't want it to be annoying. <laughs> so, I'm just trying to make... Make the decisions that I can hopefully that don't don't uh, annoy people <laughs> so <laughs> the code is priority override authorization code 420-03-29 I oh oh my root level access granted override 0923 authorization J512 Self-destruct sequence initialized. Civilian is requested to secure FEV vial and vacate the facility at once. Okay. High level functions offline. Self-destruct sequence initiated. Civilian is advised to exit the facility immediately. And I can't disable it. Slowed back again then. You have the vial. Here we go. Speech ninety percent. This has to end Eden. You need to destroy yourself in the space. Ooh. And why would I do that? When I'm clearly the best hope for the people of the wasteland. Screw Eden. Oh. Can't even control your own troops. You're clearly not fit for this. Perhaps. Perhaps.
perhaps you're right. But does that really mean all this progress should be wasted? Destroyed? You don't stop it now, where will it end? It's up to you to do what's right. Yes, I suppose it is. Very well. You shall have your wish. Once you've left, I'll put an end to the Enclave. I cannot stop Colonel Autumn, however. That much will be up to you. I suppose, then, that this is goodbye. You'll have to see yourself out. I have preparations to make. You have the vibe. Wait. I can do the other one still, too. You can't be president and you're an abortion to science. You need to die. You aren't programmed for self-awareness. You said so yourself. This is quite true. The process was certainly unintended, but shouldn't we all be thankful that I'm here now? But how, how do you know what you're doing is right? Because unlike humans, I am infallible. And how do you know you're fa infallible? Because I've been programmed to be, of course. That's circular logic, you know, because you know it makes no sense. Processing. Internal logic error detected. I think you're delusional. I think the world would be better off without you. Oh, jeez. Resetting primary memory circuits. Please stand by. Perhaps, perhaps there is a problem. I, I am unsure how to proceed. Shut yourself down. Shut down this whole place. Processing directive. New directive accepted. Self-destruct sequence initialized. Civilian is advised to remove hazardous FEV material and exit at once. Okay, even President Eden says hazardous. My mom says that to me every day. Oh. I hope... I hope not. I really hope not. High level functions offline. Self destruct sequence initial. Okay. Yeah, but President Eden even says it's hazardous FE FEV material. Hazardous. So, um, does that mean the e it is actually the FEV experiment that already, like, killed people or will turn them into, like, the centaurs and stuff? Because, like, if that's the case, then I definitely don't want to put that in the water supply. Yeah. Wait. I thought that was a blood splatter for a little bit. Nah, just a mark. Oh, it's like... Over and under at the same time. Open door to Raven Rock level 1. I guess, I guess self-destruct. Why not? Oh, and they attack them. The turrets. Uh oh, they're gonna break this one, I think. Nope. No, they are not. Okay. 32 caliber rounds. He means hazardous in the sense towards super mutants and other mutated stuff, but also towards people. Plasma mine, pulse mine, radex. Wait. Oh. 
Okay. Not allowed out that way. Not allowed to go in that way anyway. Oh. Bye bye. I actually do know the code for the purifier, so I can start it, but they they're not able. That's right, get them, Sentry Bot. They are now my friends. Oh. I have five, six rounds of energy cells. Ooh! Dual turrets. Thank you, President. Microfusion cell, plasma rifle, mine's already maximum repaired that I can do. Repair the Tesla armor, repair the Tesla helmet. Very hard. The door no longer operates. Oh, okay. How do they know that I'm not Enclave? Well, I guess they have sensors. You know, that's, that's the difference between the regular Enclave troops and the Sentry bots. Ooh. Jeez. Okay. Peril. Repair. And that's max repaired. Oh! Got him to drop it. Energy cell. Three missiles. Missile launcher. Wait a second. Tesla armor, Tesla helmet. Let me see the Tesla armor. Nope. That is max repaired for now. How much does this weigh? Oh, 20 and it's fully wrecked, so I'm just gonna drop it. Door to the Capital Wasteland. Raven Rock entrance. Oh, who's that? Oh, is that? Fox! Looks like you got a new toy, huh? Yes, and the most fascinating one at that. Oh, this technology is amazing. Imagine the evil that can be eliminated with such tools. Fox, what the hell are you doing out here? I saw your capture, and a little cleverness allowed me to follow your captors. I only wish I could have arrived sooner to aid your escape. As I owe you my freedom, I felt it was only fair that I return the favor. After all, I know no one else in this world. Karma, I could always use a hand. Would you like to follow me? My friend, I would be honored to follow a hero such as yourself. Shall we go? Yeah, let's go, Fox. Woo! And your Gatling laser is still making noise, even though you're not firing it. <laughs> I'm saving. I'm making a new save. Because I don't want to have the Mr. President save not exist. <laughs> He's got a noisemaker on his back, look out. Oh, it's switching ears now. Because of the running from side to side like that. Oh, yes. Heck yeah, Fox. Let's get out of here. Look. We have another friend with us here, too.
That's a good save. Now I'm just gonna load back so the noise stops. Yep. Brand. Ooh. Uh-oh. Okay, I'm good. I didn't fall. Oh, sentry bot. Can sentry bot be friend tree bot? Please don't shoot. Oh no. Oh, already- wait, what? When did Fox get down there? I thought Fox was behind me. Okay, pal. Thank you. Electron charge pack and two missiles. And rad scorpion poison glands. Do I have to go back to the Citadel to get my stuff back? Cause like... The one Brotherhood uh, member that was with me... Before... Had my stuff. What are you fighting now? Oh... Is it... Oh look out, here it comes! Protectron! Oh no. Okay, I thought it was just gonna keep going like last time. Pick up the scrap metal and maybe energy cells that it has. Yep. And go to this tower to make the discovery. Oh, that's the incinerator. Ow. Oh, jeez. Jeez, Fox. I'm gonna go get him. Okay. What is that? Oh, that's Hellfire armor. Hey. No more, please. Heavy incinerator. Get him, Fox. Ooh. Okay, you got him. Fox is sick. Enclave. Hellfire? Fire resistance, strength plus one, rad resistance plus 15. Fire resistance plus 5, minus 1 charisma, rad resist plus 5. I don't have enough. I don't have the carry weight, but Fox does. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, pal. You have something to say? Let's trade equipment. Yes. By all means. Let's. Okay. Fox is... I think Fox is now my, like, favorite <laughs> character. No other character is is up there. Oh, another plasma pistol. Takes energy cells. Oh, then I could get rid of the laser pistol. Do I even have it on me anymore? I don't think I do. Oh, I do. There it is. I don't know. I'll just keep it to keep it. And then I'll just give... What does the Tesla... Tesla armor... Energy weapon plus 10... Rad resistance plus 20, ooh, never mind. Rad resistance plus 5... What's Hellfire? Fire resistance. Yeah, 
Yeah, I think I still... I think I still prefer the Tesla. Something. Let's trade equipment. Yes, by all means, let's. There you go. Here, you can take my Vault 112 jumpsuit as well for now. That can go. That can go. That can go. Well, I'll keep that in case I repair it. This, this, okay. Let's go. SATCOM Array NW07C. Oh, jeez. Energy cells and squirrel stew. Yeah, I'm just gonna take the energy cells out of that. Wastelander. Is Fox coming up here? Oh, no. Just standing down below, okay. On charge packs. Empty. Empty. Pack of cigarettes. 40 bottle caps. Another pack of cigarettes. Oh, this again. Pre war money, too. Blood pack, bobby pin, rad X, stim pack, too. Okay. Aid, blood pack. Pack cigarettes. Okay. Oh, this. 60 bottle caps. And I think that's all. All to get from... Oh wait, I can go all the way up top, that's right. There's like a control station, I think. Once I go up the first ladder. As long as the walkway is still intact. Oh. Okay, yep. Satellite facility. Anyone up here? No. Not like last time where it was like the Talon uh, tower. And like the one person's armor and stuff didn't spawn in until like a few seconds after I was up there. Oh. Frag grenade. Frag grenade. Frag grenade. What the heck? Ah! Hi there, pal. Take that. Ooh. Ten microfusion cells, two missiles. Another plasma rifle. Ooh, Tesla armor. Repair mine now that I got shot. Ooh. Damage resistance of 65. Now we're talking. Now I'm gonna get out of here. Citadel. Oh. Go back to the Citadel, I guess. I'll trade with the uh, armory there. You up? It's good to see you back, but you better get to the lab right away. Again, I'm like wearing, I'm wearing Enclave armor, but I'm walking into the Brotherhood of Steel headquarters. I guess because of the gauntlet. <laughs> That's the only thing that I would think would, you know. 
make me think it's not an actual enclave. Because I'm just like... <laughs> wearing that. Oh, and I guess I do have the Pip-Boy too. I didn't even realize. But even then, it's like... You know, if you're looking... If you're looking just like from a distance or like right away, you know, you, I would think you'd see the helmet and armor first. All oh. I'm saying is, the longer we sit here, the more time they have to shore up their defenses. We should hit them sooner rather than later. We barely have the manpower to keep the Citadel fortified. We've been over this before, Sarah. So we just wait until they decide we're next on the list? If the pride goes in now, we might have a chance. And if you fail, then what? The risk is not worth the reward. I agree. Without the Gek, the Purifier is useless to the Enclave anyway. They may give up before long. I don't like it. You don't have to like it, Sarah. You just have to follow orders. Yes, Father. So, you're back. We had feared both you and the Gek were lost. Were you successful? Well, sort of. I found the Gek. Excellent. With that, we hold the key to keeping the Enclave from controlling the Purifier. I don't have the Gek anymore. Oh, the Enclave took the Gek. They're installing it now. Then we must go at once. If you have any other information, tell me now before we mobilize. Any help you can give might save lives. Yeah, there we go. Eden wanted me to sabotage the project with some kind of virus. Yeah. The Enclave doesn't have the activation code. They can't start the purifier. Well, that gives us a little more time. But how long do we have before they figure it out? This makes this situation far more dire. If the Enclave has the Gek, there's nothing stopping them from starting the purifier. They'll figure out the code eventually. I'm afraid you're right. We need to act now while we can. Send the Pride in. We can do it. We can win this. All right, Sarah. The Pride goes in. But I want them to have some extra firepower. Rothschild, is it ready? What? No, I, I mean, Lee and I have solved the power problems, but we've only barely finished diagnostic tests. Ooh, so, Liberty Prime. It's not ready for field tests, let alone live fire situations. The weapons haven't been calibrated, the navigation detection system is offline. Rothschild enough. Can you make it work? Honestly, I don't know. I think we can scrape by, and I suppose if we can't, it won't matter in the long run anyway. Then it's decided. Sarah, you take the pride and use the robot as support. Take our friend here and secure that purifier. Yes, sir. Ooh, Liberty Prime is Liberty online. Started, <laughs> I wanted to um, know my father hey. and I been talking. The Pride and I have decided that after all you've survived, you've done enough to be an honorary member of Lion's Pride. So congratulations. Membership comes with some privileges, including our power armor. You want the full suit or the recon armor? I'll take the power armor. <laughs> oh wait. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Is the Brotherhood armor like unique to any of the other power armors? Cause like, there's still another suit of power armor I haven't collected yet from the, uh, uh from like the the keys that Mr. Crowley had after I gave them to him. And that's like B-51 uh, power armor. It's nothing special. Because I would say I don't need your armor, I've gotten this far without it because, you know, like I wouldn't want to take armor if I'm not actually going to use it, but is it... Is it unique, though? If it's something unique, I would want it, regardless of if it's more or less effective. You know, because to, to collect it, so I have it, I guess.
Okay, so... The power armor at Fort Constantine in the Anchorage DLC. It's the best, but... I don't know. I think I'll just do it. To do it. I'll take the power armor. Sure thing. Hopefully, it'll give you a bit of an extra edge. I'll just take it and then give it to, uh... So do you think you can hold to Fox. It for this? Wait, what? I don't know what they said. I sure hope so. Me too. If you need a minute to collect yourself, now's the time to do it. I think I need an another minute or two. Hurry it up! Every minute you take is one more that we can't afford to spend. Okay. But you just said that this is now the time to take a minute. Okay. What have you got on your mind? Let's trade equipment. Yes, by all means, let's. Oh, okay. It's literally just power armor and power helmet. Let's go. And I shall follow. Are you ready now? We can't afford to keep standing around like this. I'm all... wait, no. I think a minute or two. I'm sure you'll understand that there's far too much... Oh, I can activate it. Diagnostic reports. Uh, current. Here we go. Scribe Rothschild has completed a new full diagnostic of the robot. Here are the results. Mobility zero, navigation translation zero, internal processors... I think this is the same as the last one I saw. To be done so right wait, I have no time for are they gonna get it working, like, right now? Like, can I go down here? Oh yeah, I can. Okay. Uh, I thought maybe I could interact with it or something. Oh. Hail. Or maybe I could, you know, like get the process running uh like higher you know like get everything to a higher percentage before i start but are you ready now we can here we go i'm all ready okay don't be nervous you'll have the whole pride backing you up not to mention this giant tin can just stay safe until we reach the purifier you're no good to us if you're dead and don't let that thing step on you oh <laughs> don't let that thing step on you okay no, no, Liberty Prime is friend. Friend will no kill. The goal is Project Even if stand under. Friend no kill. Fields up. No accident. Child and Lee say this robot should be able to take down the energy fields. So we're on fire support. We stay close to the thing, keep it clear, and get it to where it needs to go. Once the fields are down, we head straight for the facility. We'll use the robot to keep them occupied while we get inside and secure the control room. We need to move quickly, before we lose the chance to surprise them. Get whatever supplies you don't already have, and we'll meet in the Bailey. When we're done with this, everyone can have a nice cold glass of water on me. Let's move! Alright, Rothschild, fire it up! Pride, move out! Liberty Prime is online. Waiting. I've seen Liberty Prime in Fallout 4, but not Fallout 3. Oh, follow Liberty Prime as he makes his way to the purifier. Oh boy, here we go. I gotta follow him. Gotta go quick, gotta go fast. No, let me on. <laughs> Could I have gotten on the platform when it was going up? I didn't even think about that. I could have gotten off with Liberty Prime. Oh! Yeah, release the Liberty Prime.
Oh, heck yeah. Time to go out. Oh, the door is coming open. Ooh! Let's go, Liberty Prime. Whoa. Oh, they're hiding behind. Ooh! Heck yeah. For this, I'll get him. Ooh, jeez. Oh, here he goes. <laughs> Engaging Chinese invader. <laughs> oh. Take, uh, take that. <laughs> oh, I'm not even allowed to, like, oh, I was about to say, I'm not even allowed to access my inventory. Ooh. Oh. There. Communist detected on American soil. Lethal force engaged. You may have, you may have your technology, but we got Liberty Prime. Look out. Oh, and we got Fox too. Here it comes. Uh oh. Oh, okay, Liberty Prime is still good. Sounded like three voice lines at the same time. Like launching mini nukes at us. I still have the death claw gauntlet <laughs> equipped. Is Liberty Prime literally invincible? Ah. Let me put my arm back on real quick. Jeez. <laughs> he was turning around to make his speech. Yeah, that's right, Liberty Prime. Tell him. Here, I'll just do this so I'm, like, not a target. Ow. My head. We'll look out for the cars. Keep blowing them off. A valiant rush into battle. Ooh. Engaging Chinese invader. Democracy. 
Democracy is non-negotiable. Democracy will never be defeated. Initiating Directive 7395. If those shields are just giving him more power. Now we're talking. Communism is a lie. <laughs> Communism is a lie. Oh. Oh. What's going on, Liberty Prime? What's happening? Good? Oh, is Liberty Prime waiting for the other members? going on look if we make it to the purifier we can chat then now's not exactly a good time something troubling you my friend yeah why is liberty prime stopped yeah. we got to keep my we got to keep moving let's. oh wait liberty prime was a distraction i think Right? Or is there one more that Liberty Prime does not see here? Communist target. Yeah. Got him. Ooh. Got him again. Take the helmet. Oh, and there was ammo there too, but... Ooh. Now I know the true, the true power of Liberty Prime's blinding attack. Make a new save. Oh no, please. My game. Will it do it? Is it going to crash or is it going to save? I'm just going to let it go. And see what happens. Okay. Yeah, I think it's, uh, I think it froze. Uh, and the last save was, like, coming out again with Liberty Prime. Yep, it gave me the not responding warning. Well, time to do Liberty Prime's reign again. Let me see. Where am I? Oh yeah, it's all the way back here. Uh-oh. Well, I'll save here, actually. So then I have a save. That is, uh, the beginning. And then when I'm later on... I have a really fun idea, actually. Bye. Mortars over here? I'm going to get those. <laughs> oh, 
Are they actually physically there, though, is the question, or is it just launching them from an unknown location? Oh no, it is actually right here. Maybe. Okay, they're literally just launching from nowhere. Yep. That's, uh, that's, that's, <laughs> okay. Oh, I can hear Fox. Okay, I'm actually in the vertebird. Nice. Sentinel Lions is unconscious, so it won't. At least they don't die. <laughs> ah, my ears. I'm not going near those. Can I literally just like... This is what I would do anyway, so... Oh, I got Tesla armor. I'll just take that and repair mine. Ooh. Don't want to open the console. Here we go. Give me some more health. One more. There we go. Almost. Oh, jeez. Chop their head off. Medic. No medic. Oh, I'm gonna have radiation sickness. Items. Right away. They all just spawn right here or something. Oh no, I didn't save here either, so... It might be just follow Liberty Prime again. Either that or me and Fox can just run up as fast as we can to the enemies before Liberty Prime even gets there. Ooh. What do they have? Sniper rifle? Don't worry, we'll get them. Oh! If I just run as fast as I can, maybe I can just like... Just go. Oh, gotta wait for Liberty Prime. No, I don't. <laughs> okay. Bye bye. Obstruction detected. Composition. Titanium. Oh. We oh. Items. Plasma grenade. Ow. Oh. Ugh. I didn't realize how much. Yeah, what am I saying? Liberty Prime. Liberty Prime's doing all the work. Can 
Can I swim with the power armor on? Oh, sure can. Okay, bye. I'll go this way instead so I'm not, like, on the bridge. I think I can just swim- yeah, I can just swim over there again. I don't even have to do... Um... What do you call it? Like, TCL. I can just swim there. Just take a nice dip. Yep. Hello. I'm here early. Minigun. There were super mutants here before that I think I killed. Oh no, one of those walls are there, I think. Sit right here and wait. There's Fox. All you. Ah! The yeah! Oh, they're using a heavy incinerator. Oh. Light yourselves ah. on fire, please. And a plasma pistol as well in there. Oh, hey, you're here. Oh, jeez. All right. Where is Liberty Prime? How far back is Liberty Prime now that we just came here right away? They picked up a incinerator, I think. Yeah. Fire it right there. Nope. Ah, there we go. This time, this time it'll be us clearing them out, not Liberty Prime, don't worry. Don't be alarmed. We'll make sure Liberty Prime uh, stays intact. For the final assault. Oh. Here we go. This? Can I get around it? No. Uh oh, Sentinel Lion's unconscious. Oh wait, I can get around it. Here goes. Do this. Sick. Sick. Oh, uh, okay. Nope, I'll just stand right here while you do that. Since this is just like an invisible wall. It's not like the last one where I could just jump around it, unfortunately. But I may still be able to get around it somehow. Oh, can I go through here? Oh, nope, I can't. Not that way. 
But you see, this is how I got over here, I think. So, maybe I can just swim around on the other side too. Or walk around, actually, even. Follow me! Yep, we can get through this way. Uh oh, where's Fox at? I'm gonna save right here before I get further. Oh, yep, here comes Fox. Hey, pal. Oh, <laughs> it's going right in. Uh oh, they see your head. Sentinel Lions is unconscious again. Ooh. Oh, got them to drop their weapon. Well, one of them at least. No. <laughs> I failed. Whoa. Yeah, let's go. We'll get there before them. We're taking care of it. Ooh. Is my arm broken? No. Tesla. There. Tesla. Items. Peril. Oh yeah. Taking some damage. Pair this one because it's actually of higher quality right now. Higher condition. Any more Tesla suits? Is this one a Tesla? Yes it was. Sick. I can actually carry it without being over... over encumbered, so... Repair. Nope. Maxed on that. There. Save now before it gets uh, the same thing that happened last time. Just waiting for uh, lions to be unconscious again. Just, just stand right here and wait. surroundings don't worry fox i'm i'm <laughs> i'm real i'm really vigilant right now I think uh, we might have been a little bit, um, just a little bit faster. Just 
start going down this way and see if there's a way around these walls or not. Okay, bye. Oh, heck yeah. We're doing the sneaky beaky. Oh, we are actually hidden here, okay. Sick. Danger. Wait, what? Where are they? Oh, on the other side. And this is like invisible walls here. Yep. Okay then. That's fine. Let's go this way. Ooh. Ooh, can I get up there? Oh, I sure can. Roger that. Firing. Go, go, go. Enclave officer. Ooh, I'll take this actually, so I have it. Hello, friends. Wait, hello, friends? Are they not? They're running. Why are they running? Yeah. See you later. Wait, why are they not hostile? What? <laughs> why are they not hostile? Oh, now they're hostile, okay. Um, alright. They had to see the others attacking first and be hostile? You know, I was debating not fighting you, you didn't have to shoot at me. You really didn't have to do that, but, you know. But you did, so... Oh, Fox is here. Let's go, Fox. We can get him. Melee only. I have become a Deathclaw. I'm one of the Enclave experiments that escaped. Ow. There goes the vertebird. Okay, I tried. But now I know how to get in there. I can just like jump around at the rocks underneath the path. Yep. I don't even need to go... I don't even need to go down this way at all really. Just kind of jump off the railing. Ow. Ow. Bye. Don't worry, we'll get him down here, Fox. Don't even worry about them up there. Ah, uh, the wall. My ears, please. Don't even worry about the ones over there. Don't worry, Fox. We'll get in. We'll get them when we're in there. Oh. Not connected rock texture. Come on, if I can if I can sideways jump up it again. Oh yep. There goes. I'm in. Save right here, because now I can actually just kind of, uh... Just go. Don't worry, I'm just, like, learning speedrunning techniques. Yeah, and now I'm just gonna attack them, because they're gonna attack me if I go over... over at the other place, so... over near the other ones.
Here, have this. There you go. How does Fox even get in here, is the question. Because, like, as far as I know, there is not another way in except for jumping up that. Uh, these... these things in my ears. Here, have this too. Goes. Got him. Ah. Let's keep coming this way, please. Right this way. Here it goes. Okay, those work pretty... still have two of them. Pretty good. Where'd the officer go? Thought there was one. Oh, there they are. Hey, friend. One more, please. Take this. Ah. Regular power armor. Oh, there's... there's Fox. Come on through, Fox. I don't know how you did it last time, but... You can do it again. I believe in you. <laughs> Save again while there's... less people here to fight. I'll just go up and see. Fox can come through again. One on one. Oh, level up. <laughs> you know what? Yeah, I'm still gonna go with medicine, I think. So I can heal faster. Do 75 on that. 55, 57. Explosives maybe to 55. Small guns to 55. Repair, I'll do three more into, so it's 70. Ooh. Puppies. Would the puppies perk? If... Wait. If dog meat dies, you'll be able to get a new canine companion from his litter of puppies. Just wait a bit, and you'll find your new furry friend waiting outside Vault 101. Wait, what? I'm not even there. <laughs> I didn't even see dog meat yet. I'm not gonna do that yet until until I actually see dog meat. rank of this perk, all your explosive weapons do an additional 20% damage. If that includes the Fat Man, then that's pretty sick. He is in the scrapyard and is south of Minefield. Uh, you know what, I don't think I've been really around Minefield except for maybe once after the first time to do the uh, Wasteland Survival Guide. So maybe I 
Maybe I can go back there again and see. Nerd Rage. Uh, silent Running. Sniper. Chemist. Contract Killer. Lawbringer. Light Step. You know what? I think I'm gonna do Explorer so I can actually find everything, basically. Okay, where's Fox at? Because I think Fox can get in somehow, like last time, but I don't know how or where. I'll just fight them for a little bit until Fox gets here. Oh wait. No no, no no, I know I know I know your tricks. Yeah, I know your tricks. You just stay right there. While I just Ooh hoo hoo, 21 health. While I just continue to fire at your vertebrate. Come on. It's on fire. There it goes. No more. No more flights. They've all been cancelled. Ooh. Okay. Back to the death claw gauntlet it is. Yeah, just go ahead, just keep shooting me, it's fine. Yep, that's fine. That's fine. Bye bye. Railway spikes. Oop, my indicator's messing up. Save now. While I still can, before the game just crashes. I'm going in. No, oh, yeah! Don't worry, we got this fox. We'll get it before the game crashes. Oh, my... My door indicator is like broken too. All the things on the on the compass. Why did you put away your weapon? I don't understand. Okay, Fox. Oh. There it goes. Be taking this, and that, and some of these, and repair, repair. Oh, it's almost damaged entirely. What do you? You just had a regular power armor. And you just had regular power armor, okay. Oh no, my indicator's working. It, kind of. <laughs> kind of, but kind of looks like not really. Uh, but, you know. Rotunda! Oh. You again. I can't say I'm surprised. You and your ilk seem hell-bent on destroying everything our government has worked to achieve. There's nothing to stop me from killing you this time. Let's end this. 
Look, I don't want to fight you. You don't have to. Just stand there. It'll be over quicker and might even be less painful for you. Okay. Okay, pal. No more. Colonel Autumn's laser pistol. Sure. Oh. Airlock control. Oh, I don't want to do that. I don't want to insert the virus. Nail board. I mean, aren't we still not able to, like, actually get in here or what? It doesn't let me use the airlock control, so... This is like, how how much damage does this do now? 16? Yeah, it's a little bit, uh... A little bit wrecked. It's goofed up because you don't have the others with you. Ah, uh, okay. So what, now I just wait here for them? Well, now I can drop the regular laser pistol. Now that I have Colonel Autumn's, unless I want to keep condition all the way. Nah, nah, nah. I don't know, I'm kind of debating that. No idea, maybe they show up. I don't know. You cannot wait in this location. <laughs> oh, okay. This door has locked shut behind you. There is no exit. Oh, I'm literally not allowed to leave. So then, can they actually get here or no? I may have, uh... Broke the game. Partially again. Okay, I'm good. I still have a save beforehand, so I can just wait for a little bit. Our steps must be measured. Sure thing. Uh, you got a ruler? Just like punch shopping carts and uh, that'll be my, like, pastime. They- I threw the one body down there, I think, from, uh, the other... Was it another colonel? I think it was another current. Oh, hey. Hi. They're here. Project Purity is as good as ours. Good luck. For Elder Lions. Uh, hey. Good luck. Now am I allowed? No. <laughs> it wasn't it wasn't meant to be done this way. Yeah. Uh... Wait, where'd they go? Huh? Oh. I. For elder lions. <laughs> Fox is quick. Fox is fast. Look at him go. Hey. Hey you. Oh. Up. Up. Watch it. Up. What are you doing? Up. <laughs> Don't do that again. Last warning. Concentrate your fire. <laughs> Let me just load back again to the auto save and see. Okay, you don't start shooting me for that. You again. Okay, there's nothing to Give it up, Autumn, you've lost. I beg to differ. The Enclave is at the height of its power. Once this facility is operational, the masses will flock to the Enclave for fresh water, protection, and a plan for the future. Oh, there we go. 
See, I was I was hoping for one of these options to do this. Raven Rock is gone. Eden checked out. You've got nothing left. The American people are worth fighting for. The future must be secured. I won't let you stand in the way of that. This isn't the way to do it. More fighting will just make things worse. And what would you have me do? Let you have everything I've worked to build? Let you destroy it all? Just walk away. It's not too late. And you? You would just let me leave? How can I be sure you won't just shoot me once I turn my back on you? I suppose it doesn't matter much now. Very well. I shall leave you to your fate. Yeah, that's right. You've already won. Allow me to leave with some dignity. Hey. There we go. And now did I extra break it? <laughs> did I extra wreck the game? Is it even, like, recoverable now at this point? I just kind of let him go. Alright, I'll see what happens. Oh, it's going to be right there in front of the door. I'm just not going to touch anything else until they get here. Can I have a conversation with Fox? Mm, nope. Let's go. I shall follow. The indicators blinking on the compass are like... Even the blinking doesn't look right to me. Cannot wait in this location. Oh, requires key. This one doesn't, but it says the door has been locked shut behind you. There's no exit. Oh. Nope. I mean, I technically can, I think, uh, do activate in the console on the door. And it would just kind of still let me through, maybe. And even the door with a key, I can just type unlock, and it would do that. 
but I don't know if it would let me through or not. Like, actually let me out. Be aware of the present moment. Oh. 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 Walking on the metal, it just makes me think that they're here. Here, purify these barrels. Oh, it won't let me put it through there. Oh, not there either. Not there either. Come on. Threw a body in here. Yes, there it is. <laughs> That's good. Just leave it right there like that. Ooh, unless... How did I get over here? Oh. Is there enough of a gap to... Oh, there is. Okay, get to me. Oh, I thought Fox was gonna do that the whole time. <laughs> I think I might have uh, made this not playable anymore right now. Yeah, let me out. Yeah, they're not here. <laughs> I'm just gonna wait then. Uh, outside. Here. Do it in the shop. You have something to say? Uh, let's go. Outside. Oh, there's another vertebrate there. Are the other walls down out here? Oh, they're over there. That was too easy. Just gonna do this and go see where Liberty Prime is. I might have to wait for Liberty Prime to actually get here. Teleport? No. The heck? Uh. Okay, there. Oh, that's a lion. Okay. <laughs> this is, a. Uh... Yeah. Oh, Sentinel Lions is unconscious. Here, I'll take this, though, for the armor. I feel like this this fallout is more buggy than like New Vegas. Like I just kind of refrained from saying it for a while now, but it just feels like there's so many more bugs that I've encountered with this game than with New Vegas. And I think crashing has actually been more more common with this game than New Vegas, honestly. 
Where the heck? The, the, what? Oh. Uh, uh, uh. Bye? Sentinel Lions? Why? Okay. Still enemies up here. I don't know if I'm even supposed to be here or not, but I'm just gonna go up there and see. Yeah, I think this is a path. Oh, yeah. Did Liberty Prime not even move from the first position at this point? How far ahead did I get? Did I get all the way ahead? Technically? Oh, yeah. I think Liberty Prime is literally in the same spot because I wasn't following. I just kind of left. That's... that's... that's great. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Hi, pal. Do I have to be in proximity of Liberty Prime to, like, complete this quest? TCL. Like, I, I, I need to get struck by the, like, artillery fire. Ow. You have to understand that some of those people are following you. Hmm? Like, what do you... what do you mean? Like, the, in the literal sense? Like, some of the Brotherhood, okay. Maybe their pathing was just, like, broken when, when I was behind the walls or something. But I mean, Sentinel Lions actually got to me before. Communism is the very definition of failure. Oh. Hit right in the leg. I'll turn around again to make the speech. Ow. Aid. This. Never tried doing it any other way than intended. I mean... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it wasn't like I was looking for, you know, the bugs to happen and stuff like that. It just kind of did because of what I was doing. <laughs> But, even so, I feel like, I don't know, maybe with New Vegas there just wasn't the opportunity for what happens in this game to happen in the way it did. Because, for instance, I don't think these walls really existed in New Vegas, and if they did, they were just like, 
like a regular barrier that you could walk around. It wasn't something that was to um, inhibit your progress by any means, I would say. Just kind of like a cover or uh, like maybe it would slow you down, but it wouldn't like stop you from going to the next area or anything like that, so... I don't know. Laser rifle. I'll use that because it's already damaged. It is not 100% condition. Prime not advance because of what I did. Please. I'll just go around. Uh, will they only follow Liberty Prime? Oh, not that way. Here we go. Something is wrong, you should restart the game. Ooh. Yeah, the indicators on the compass are just kind of... Eh. And stuff. Come on. Oh. They respawn? Oh, there we go. Have courage, my brothers. Ooh. Here we go. Now we're good. Maybe. There's no enemies up here anymore, I don't think. There might be. You don't know, wait. Yeah, no, there isn't. <laughs> so. Added project impurity. Oh. Oh my. Good to go? <laughs> oh, 
There's sentinel lions. Oh, there's sentinel lions. Welcome. Stay sharp and stick close to control. Okay, so you are following me. Waiting for Sentinel Lions to get in here. Here, I'll use the laser rifle, laser rifle, because I have not yet. Ooh. The question is, does it do more criticals than the regular? Regular power armor. Oh, they had Tesla. I'll get theirs. Oh, okay, here we go. We're good. Maybe. To the rotunda. You again. I can't say I'm surprised. You and your ilk seem hell-bent on destroying everything our government has worked to achieve. There's nothing to stop me from killing you this time. Let's end this. Give up on him, you lost. I beg to differ. The Enclave is at the height of its power. Once this facility is operational, the masses will flock to the Enclave for fresh water, protection, and a plan for the future. Raven Rock is gone. Eden checked out. You've got nothing left. The American people are worth fighting for. The future must be secured. I won't let you stand in the way of that. This isn't the way to do it. More fighting will just make things worse. And what would you have me do? Let you have everything I've worked to build? Let you destroy it all? Just walk away. It's not too late. And you? You would just let me leave? How can I be sure you won't just shoot me once I turn my back on you? I suppose it doesn't matter much now. Very well. I shall leave you to your fate. Okay. I guess I shouldn't be surprised that you just let him walk away. It's amazing the world hasn't beaten that out of you. You just better hope it doesn't come back to bite you. Now let's get this place locked down. Hello. There we go. Oh. Good to see you. Dr. Lee, it's Sarah Lyons. I'm in the control room. We're both here. What's going on? I've been monitoring the equipment remotely, and we have a serious problem. The facility has been damaged during the fighting. Some of it looks accidental, some of it may have been sabotage. There's pressure building up in the holding tanks. It needs to be released now, or else the whole facility could explode. To release the pressure, you're going to have to turn the purifier on. Do you understand me? It has to be turned on now! If I'm reading this right, I'm afraid there are lethal levels of radiation inside the chamber. I'm sorry. I wish there was some other way, but there's just no time. It has to be done now, or the damage will be catastrophic. Well, so much for celebrating. One of us is going to have to go in there and turn the damn thing on. And whoever does it isn't coming back out. Not exactly how I imagined going out, you know? So, what should we do? Draw straws? There must be some other way. I wish that were true. Really, I do. But you heard Dr. Lee. We have to do this right now. Or who knows how bad it'll be. One of us has to go in there. I'll do it. I'll start the pure fire. You're going to have to be quick about it. If the radiation is bad enough, you won't have much time. I won't forget what you've done here. No one will. Thank you. 216. Wait. Two, one, six, enter.
And so it was that the lone wanderer ventured forth from Vault 101, intent on discovering the fate of a father who had once sacrificed the future of humanity for that of his only child. The Capital Wasteland proved a cruel, inhospitable place, but the lone wanderer refused to surrender to the vices that had claimed so many others. The values passed on from father to child, selflessness, compassion, honor, guided this noble soul through countless trials and triumphs. But it was not until the end of this long road that the Lone Wanderer learned the true meaning of that greatest of virtues, sacrifice. Stepping into the irradiated control chamber of Project Purity, the child followed the example of the father, sacrificing life itself for the greater good of mankind. Thankfully, when selected by the sinister president to be his instrument of annihilation, the wanderer refused. Humanity, with all its flaws, was deemed worthy of preservation. The waters of life flowed at last free and pure for any and all. The Capital Wasteland, at long last, was saved. So ends the story of the Lone Wanderer, who stepped through the great door of Vault 101 and into the annals of legend. But the tale of humanity will never come to a close, for the struggle of survival is a war without end. And war... War never changes. Oh. Two weeks later. Careful now, careful. Don't move too quickly. Everything's fine, you're safe. You're in the Citadel. I was starting to think you might never wake up, despite assurances to the contrary. I've been coming down here every day to see both you and my daughter. It's good that at least one of you has recovered. For Sarah, is she okay? Yes, yes. She's fine. Oh, she will be. I appreciate your concern for her, but really don't worry. You've been through enough. What's going on? It's all right. You're safe now. You're in the Citadel. There was some sort of energy spike as the purifier started. You and Sarah were knocked unconscious and brought here to the infirmary. We've been watching over the two of you for days. I'm glad to see it's paid off. What about the purifier? Did it work? Indeed it did. The tidal basin is full of fresh, clean water now. We've been working to see that it's distributed to as many people as possible across the wasteland. In fact, I'm hopeful that soon we won't be referring to the wasteland any longer. None of this would have been possible without the efforts of both you and your father. I doubt we shall ever be able to truly repay you. How long was I out? Just about two weeks. Don't worry, we've been taking good care of you. What happens now? Well, that's really up to you, isn't it? The Brotherhood has a clear plan of action. The remnants of the Enclave must be swept away. The Pride has been working to this end ever since we took the Purifier back. The only remaining question is whether we can count on you to help us. 
Is there any way I can help? Indeed. We can use every able body available to us. To that end, I'm going to circumvent our standard recruitment procedures and declare you a Knight of the Brotherhood of Steel. Before you do anything else, please speak with Scribe Rothschild. I'm sure he'll be pleased to see you again. He can brief you on the details of the last few weeks, as well as where our efforts are focused now. I understand that you've been through quite an ordeal, but the sooner you can talk to him, the sooner we can put an end to all this. Elder Lions, we should talk about the super mutants. Oh? Have you learned something? The super mutants are coming from Vault 87. It's their breeding ground. Vault 87? Where you found the Gek? We've never been able to penetrate the radiation surrounding that area. This information is invaluable. Well done. What's going on with the Purifier? The Brotherhood has taken over control of the Purifier, and is managing distribution of the water to the people of the Wasteland. If you travel there, speak with Scribe Bigsley. He's heading up the on-site operation. I have to go now. Please be careful. I would hate to lose you again. Oh. Nope. Another glorious day in this man's army. Aquapira. Oh. Is that the water? Aid. Purified water, 20. Aquapira, 20. Okay. Does it look different? Aquapira. Okay. Citadel Medical Terminal. Very hard. Okay. This basically starts the Broken Steel DLC. Oh, okay. There we go. <laughs> Resurrection was one of the ones that was uh, not the password before, but now it is. Oh. Hey, Sawbones, you dumb son of a bitch. This is Glade. I hacked your terminal again. Now change your password before I delete all your stupid robot poetry. Oh. Casualty report. Paladin Blanchett, honorable death in combat. Paladin Jennings, honorable death in combat. Paladin Stein, MIA, presumed dead slash honorable death in combat. Paladin Sabagachi, honorable death in combat. Knight Kesserly, honorable death in combat. Knight Arturo, suicide. Knight Ionel? Honorable Death in Combat, Knight Connard, Honorable Death in Combat, Knight Patriarchus, Pat MIA, Presumed Dead Slash Honorable Death in Combat, Initiate Verona, MIA, Presumed Dead Slash Honorable Death in Combat, Initiate Ruo, Honorable Death in Combat, Initiate Quintana, MIA, Presumed Dead Slash honorable death in combat. Initiate Porter, honorable death in combat. Initiate Loring, training accident, investigation pending. Initiate Redden, honorable death in combat. Okay. Notes on Pendleton appendectomy. Rotary saw was effective, but saturate 
suturing of incision proved ineffective. High intensity heat cauterization proved successful. Operation outcome success. Patient pain slash discomfort level irrelevant. Probability of future procedure 100%. Medical storage lock override. Hovering contemplatively a poem. Brotherhood of Steel, blood is red. Ionic medical pulses beams are blue. Steam is... No, steel is better than flesh and artificial intelligence som sub processors are too. Okay. Where... Another glorious day in this man's army. I thought that was a rifle for a second that just fell over. Oh, Fox is here. Aquapira. I patiently await your word. Oh, you're. I had hoped you'd return. What now? Let's get going. With all due haste. Let's go. And I shall follow. Barracks. Uh, not in the barracks. Just go outside. <laughs> Do a manual save before. Anything else happens? Save over this one. The Brotherhood is at your service. You honor us with your presence here. It's good to see that you're on your feet again. I assume Lyons is immediately throwing you to the wolves? Has he told you what's been going on while you've been resting? I learned a little bit, but I was hoping you could tell me more. Yes, I believe I can. Step over here for a moment, will you? <laughs> Look out, Fox. He's coming through. He's trying. Oh. Oh, he's trying. He's he's going. It's tempting. Need something, friend? You I, I, you asked me to step over. There is safety in my I'll give you a brief history of what's happened over the last few weeks and what's going on now. As you well know, this all began with the Enclave's occupation of Project Purity, here. Thanks to you, their main headquarters, here, was utterly destroyed. They then suffered a second defeat at the Purifier. Based on a combination of intelligence and field reports, other Enclave locations throughout the Wasteland were found. Cut off from their leadership, it was expected that their forces would be in complete disarray, this has not been the case. Based on data and tech gathered from these locations, we've determined that the Enclave forces are still maintaining remote communications. We isolated the transmissions and found their origin point, an old military installation in Rockland, to the southwest. Our advanced scouts have checked over the area, but no easy access to the facility was found. So we're making our own access point. Paladin Tristan is leading the team setting up forward base in an old car tunnel near the site. Once he's settled, Liberty Prime will be deployed. Prime's directive is to neutralize their defenses and create an entry point for the team. The team will move in, eliminate any opposition inside, and cut off their transmitter. Any relevant data should be brought back here. Now, 
Did you have any other questions? Ooh. If there's anything else you'd like to know, I'll tell you what I can. Otherwise, Paladin Tristan will be waiting. I'll alert him that you're on your way. How is Liberty Prime holding up? Performance is exceeding all our expectations. He's been especially effective against the Enclave's vertebrates, for which we previously had no counter. We are fine-tuning his programming as we go, but on the whole, I'm pleasantly surprised. It's as I always suspected. Prime's real issue was energy management. And when Dr. Lee helped us solve that problem, well, <laughs> the rest was easy. What's going on with the purifier? It was determined that the Brotherhood should directly oversee the purifier, as so as to prevent any mishaps. Scribe Bigsley was placed in charge of the operation, and is directly overseeing our efforts. I have to go now. Don't hurry back. Don't hurry back. Hail! You honor us with your presence here. He is free. Diagnostic reports current. It still says zero percent on this. For mobility and navigation. But I guess Liberty Prime isn't here anymore, so... The diagnostics was what I was told by, uh... The scribe, so... Hail! Need something, friend? Need something, friend? Welcome. Oh, boy. Think after... I accept this next uh, quest, I think it might be done for now. Or, unless I already did accept it. Let me see. I thought I was told to... Oh, yep. Meet Paladin Tristan at the Rockland Car Tunnel. Yeah. I think I'll, I'll get there first, and then that'll probably be be it for now. Am I able to fast travel from here? Yes, I am. Okay. Ooh. Something's fighting that. Ooh. Didn't take damage. Do I still have all my stuff? Oh, yeah. Okay. And I still have some carry weight. So then, yeah, I'll just make my way there, and, uh... After that, I'm, I'm probably gonna be done for now. And then next... Next stream... I think I might do, like, the, the DLC stuff. So... Here we go. 
Oh yeah, I was here before. Morning. But the gate was locked, hey, and then I unlocked awake. it. All right, Paladin Tristan is just inside. He's waiting for you. Okay. Thirty. No, I didn't. I didn't loot these already. Yeah, I think. I thought I locked picked the uh, gate, and maybe I wasn't able to get in here or something. I don't really recall anymore. Sugar bombs. Okay. Well, well, look who's back amongst the living. Some of us were starting to wonder if you and Sarah were going to pull through. Good to see you too. I'm here to help. Is that so? Well, it'll be good to have another soldier we can count on. Basic rule of thumb on these operations. Keep your head down and let the robot do most of the heavy lifting. He can take it better than you can. What do you need me to do? I need you to keep your head on straight. No heroics, okay? Liberty Prime was called in to assist with the initial assault. Once we've cleared ourselves a nice staging area, we'll reassess the situation. Come on. Things should be underway by now. Okay. It's been pretty standard for the last week or so. We get intel on positions, go in and burn them out. Okay. Oh, look. Save. Here we go. Citadel A ring, yes. Okay. All right. Uh, I think that's gonna be it for now. Oh, but uh... yep. Thanks for sticking around, and uh, sorry if I seemed a little bit um. A little bit upset about the bugs and stuff, but uh, I didn't expect it to happen, didn't know it was going to happen, and uh, I don't know. Like, I'm, I'm going to finish the DLC and stuff, it's just... Eh. Like I said, I just didn't, I felt like I didn't really have that much... A uh, problem with New Vegas, but I've never played Fallout 3 before, so I wouldn't have known anyway. Anyways, I was glad the game didn't crash again during that mess. Yeah. Yeah, no. It's fine. Even if it did, I had some saves in then, too, after the first time. So, yeah. Anyway, I'll probably, probably catch you later with the Fallout 3 DLC stuff.